and stuff. <laughs> when you hear the music. All right, are we done? No, Everybody happy? Sure. Stick now, we'll forever hold your peace. I'm sleeping. Oh, oh yeah, we've just done the ring with the heads. By all means. You don't have to go to Okay, so. In the, gr- in the group of people, right, like, we were right in front of the blank. There was, like, five of us, well, and we- it just turns out that everyone right. had the name Jess. Merlin. 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 Oh, wow. That's a rough slot. Yeah. Um, so, in a land of myth, in a time of magic, uh, something like that. Yeah. But last week, we finished <laughs> in our business <laughs> in the Ersatz uh, University um, after visiting various academics, prophets, uh, living trees, in some people's cases. Um, you decided to go help out the Bone Keeper's Guild. We met Enoch Holcomb, a drow and head of the Bone Keeper's Guild, uh, who sent you down, down deep below the crypts that have existed in dreams for uh, many ages, many hundreds of years, uh, uh, where the dead have recently been rising. Quite. Um, <laughs> deep down below, you found the ghost of one Marabella, a student from the university who had recently disappeared, uh, who had uh, in a fluke million to one chance, uh, teleported into a sealed off uh, room that they said contained a very ancient coffee. Something very, very bad. And very uh, desperate to escape, they had uh, blown open the cavern, uh, connecting the two into uh, each other, the old uh, cavern of the bad finger, into the catacombs, which started the dead rising. Uh, you wanted through your fancy strange skeletons, twisted and turned in odd positions, with glowing green magic around them that none of you quite recognize. Uh, you found some cool loot in a chest, uh, and you found a room full of preserved heads of old uh, deans from the university, in what looked to be another hidden room. The heads of the university. <laughs> um, uh, you found in there a chest at the bottom that contained a staff of the librarian, very powerful staff for an to wield uh, a small shard of a mirror about yay big by yay big on a piece of paper, a oh, symbol yeah. you identified as being the Order of the Eleventh Eye, uh, associated with the Magus. Uh, once uh, no one was a member of this order, once upon a time, but he's not been seen in some time. Um, it was uh, the shard of a mirror you found out to be a very powerful magic item. You couldn't quite work out what it was, though. Uh, Bigby tried to look into it and uh, saw his own reflection, eyes bleeding, uh, taunting him, and that you'll never work out, and you'll never be able to save what matters the most. Uh, and attached to that, your child of the mirror was, of course, this note, uh, entrusting it long, long ago to one of the old dead deans of the university. Uh, but that was an old fan down. To the south, we found a room full of totally not quicksand. Uh, a strange coloured mud on the opposite side leading to another room, though what is in there? Who's to say? Uh, to the north, of course, you found some zombies. Uh, five zombies that don't look particularly uh, animate, or not particularly uh, put together, and one zombie in green plated armour, a helmet that once held these big stag horns that are now long since broken, uh, who spoke in necrol uh, and then in common Rosella had a good chat with them. Uh, <coughs> they were servants to the evil that is uh, held here. Uh, and didn't have a lot nice or productive to say. Uh, they, they offered to uh, free us and leave and you can go with your lives. Uh, if you, they also offered you to come free them and visit their master, though, uh, with an inside check to quickly determine that would probably not end well for you, or at least the zombies think it won't end well for you. Uh, at the very end there, the head zombie, uh, who did not give their name, um, uh, asked, can you hear the music? Uh, and you all sat there listening in the dark, and Merida uh, was the only one who rolled high enough and heard the music, and instantly stabbed Mordred in the side. Can everyone roll initiative for this? Sorry, Merida stabbed Mordred. Merida Apparently. Stabbed Mordred. That's how I ended up. I also don't remember saying that, so... I remember. 
Actually, I didn't roll the mission at the end of the last session, did we? Let's roll it again. Uh, Big B, what are we looking at? So you add the perception or add? Yep, you add perception. Is your initiative in Power Finder? Ten. Ten. Unless you're doing some other sort of activity. Oh, what's the go with hero points? Oh yeah, hero points. Sorry, let's do hero point questions. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Hero point question this week. What does your character do for fun? Like a hobby, a rec- something for recreation, what they spend their downtime doing? And then for the bonus point, who taught you that hobby? Or how did you come to start doing it? Uh, who would like to go first? Crossword puzzles. Crossword puzzles. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> and and who taught you how to do crossword, crossword puzzles, Bigby? Um, yeah, who question. taught you like, how to get into this sort of thing? Yeah. Where did it start? I reckon to tie it into last week's, mm. I learnt it from my, my protege. He, uh, he was like, oh, I, was, I was just, Slotson was just, like, I was just pissing him off by just ranting about shit all the time. Mm-hmm. He's like, here's, yeah, okay. here's, here's, here, do, here's the paper's crossword, do this, challenge Absolutely. your brain with that. Two hero points for you. Thank you. Anyone else? Hero points. Yeah, that's what I was like. Rosella's hobby is meditative reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Meditating mm. primarily on things that she's going to do to the Fae when yeah. she catches her. <laughs> and Just doing in revenge. Seething with anger. Seething with anger. No, meditating. Yes. Taught, she who, learned, who, who taught, taught me to meditate? To meditate? Yeah. Uh, self-taught from a, <laughs> from a book <laughs> that <laughs> self-taught from a, a like a <laughs> selfie helpy type how to meditate how to that's the one mother goose is going to meditation and calming and centering yourself for impending deathly revenge i know she it didn't so, that bit was mainly in the subtext uh, it was more around finding your calm center and Achieving your goals and ambitions, self help book. Um, she thought it relevant. Who's Meredith Lonsboy from Horse Ride and doing her archery for the first time this week. Yeah, and I'm going to go with Spooky Big Bear. Do we know now if you want the five beasts of the old movie? Chris and Pete. If I cast my mind back to happier times when I was 90 years old. Don't we all? Yes, back in the good old days when I was an old withered old lady. I enjoyed cookery. Oh, I like that. Mm. Feels very witchy. Big old cauldron. Mm. Yeah, Just got to clean it well after you do potions. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you'd have to have a cauldron, a potion. You'd have to have different cauldrons. My favourite type of cookery is um, cookery of children. <laughs> <laughs> and make good That's pies. right, I keep forgetting you were an evil monster. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Torturing animals and doing animal experiments. <laughs> you've never tried. Wait, you're telling me you're not a vegan lich? Well, listen, if, you, if you've never tried a kid pie, then you haven't lived. Oh, God. Was, I don't know. The witch don't give me kid pie PTSD. With, with argue, I asked Alexa for a spooky story the other day. And she gave me this long story. Oh, my goodness. And how did Sibylla get into cooking? Who taught her to do it? Oh, it was just, you know, that's what we ate at witchy school. and. Um, I love the idea of witch and boarding school. Those hero points on that initiative roll. Uh, I'm tempted, hence why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 27. That's, That's maybe the highest I've ever gotten in my life. Well done, this is big. No. Uh, Jesse, hero point or no? No. Cool. Uh, Sibylla. Mm-hmm. Uh, initiative. 13. 13. That's what you had in the last session, funny enough. Drizella. 13. 13 as well. My tiebreaker says Drizella goes first. Uh, Merida. Well, let me go first, or I'll eat your children. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. That's the beginning. The encounter. Um, so, Merida, dagger, into the side of Mordred. Uh, Mordred, you took some damage, I believe. I haven't taken any from that. Oh, wonderful. Uh, roll some damage for your dagger. 
Or your some sort of melee weapon. No, I've got a dagger. Oof, five. Ooh. And I wouldn't have a chance to block that or anything. Yeah, so one time you want to roll, roll up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one time I want to roll a letter. Yeah. One mm-hmm. um, uh, You see, as all of you are standing there listening, uh, trying to hear this music of this, uh, this well, of uh, this ceremonially addressed zombie is talking about. Uh, Merida shortly is the music. Uh, Mordred, that's you. Yeah, um, can I first use my action to turn to Merida? I'm very confused by all of this. Mm. and I was, Don't worry, so am I. <laughs> did she have, like, a look on her face? Yes. No. Um, 24. Mm. Um, Merida, I'll tell you how you, what's happening for you when you get to your turn. Okay. Um, uh, you see, uh, what kind of Merida's eyes? Green, green, I imagine. Yeah, I think green. Green or blue? I remember writing it on the Wikipedia because you mentioned blue. 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 Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 like, yeah, they're like a bluey greeny. You look over and see Merida's eyes with this green, uh, green eyes to begin with, but then this further green sheen over them a little bit, and this sickly lime colour, the same that's been proliferating the undead in this place. Uh, uh, and a very uh, a face still like she's trying to hear the music. I'll use my first action to attempt to demoralize, but I'm going to um, kind of grab her arm and I'll say, Merida, it's me. It's, it's Mordred, I'm your friend. What are you doing? Okay, we'll, we'll run through your turn and get to it. Okay. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a um, But I'm trying to demoralize. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's a will. Uh, nope, that's a check. Oh, that's it. Against her. So you try to get 15. Um, and that's intimidation. Intimidation. 19. Right. 19, that works. Uh, you are feared one. Um, and then I'm going to use my final two actions to cast Force of Mercy. It's like Dwayne Johnson's like, oh, um, So that's a good save. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy. Um, and then I'm going to cast Force of Mercy.
unveiling that flow behind the just kind of discordant tunes, uh, echoing and rattling through this uh, crypt, you also hear something else in the back. Yeah. Something it much worse. Uh, yeah. You can't quite like make it, it out, but it's definitely oh, sound okay. like something <laughs> else. <laughs> I just didn't realize uh, the zombies right begin, uh, where they were once docilely standing in the corner, uh, run forward at top speed and begin to try to escape their chains. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of them managing two. Fashions uh, on that at chewing gum on the main Which then uses other actions to move forward. It's only slow though, and he manages 20 feet across him. So, one zombie's running at us. One zombie's running at you, they're all fighting to get out. There's terrible, strange musics in the air. Alright. Um, and Merida has a strange look upon her face. Okay. Morgan uh, probably looks a little frightened too. Uh, I am going to uh, sing back at them. Um, <laughs> But where I would normally sing a haunting hymn, we've already determined that the undead kind of like that. They kind of like that. Mm. So I'm going to flavor my haunted hymn as something really very jolly. Yeah. Well, um. So I'm, I'll pump something. No, more very kind nice. of. Mm, no, more kind of. You know, really annoying. It's a long way to Tipperary, or. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Um, long way to Ferrari, or um, we'd Arctic love to Arctic go Arctic. wandering <laughs> along a mountain track. You know, nice, happy, uplifting, this is haunting the song him. That never <laughs> yeah, but it's horribly jarring against the background discordant music Everything of the undead. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's almost <laughs> glitter coming out of. <laughs> See how you can uh, performance. Performance. Okay. We will do performance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not great well, to performance. Unlike mm-hmm. me, I'm a terrible Can I do it as survival <laughs> on the grounds that we're trying to survive? You can do it on religion. <laughs> on the All right. I'll do it on religion. It's it's got there might be overtones of a hymn I once heard through the wards mm-hmm. of a church. Mm-hmm. I've not been in a church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Don't make deals with devils. Just that on loop for hours. Don't make deals with devils. They're gonna fuck you over. I've got bullhorn. I can make my voice really loud. Okay. That's a fun make for you guys. 13 plus 8. So 20. 21. With a 21, uh, you uh, begin to sing. Um, you see, you do effectively uh, drown us out. That um, spell has an auditory component, doesn't it? It does. It does. One d eight psychic damage. Yes. Yeah. Um, generally speaking, um, on a fortitude save. Um, you can you you can choose whether you want to deal that damage. What's the range on that though? Mm-hmm. Fifteen foot cone. Uh, that will get uh, all your fellow party members if you set it off. Um. Can, can Bullhorn? I don't know if it can be cast on others. Yeah. Can I get in front of? Oh, you can. Sorry, you, you can take a. It's two actions to cast that spell. Mm. One, so you can take a movement sorry. to step into the room. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Then, I wouldn't uh, actually sing my horrible haunting him at them. Okay. I yeah. use my plague mask as like a sound funnel. Yeah, <laughs> love that. Fifteen foot cone, you say? It's a fifteen foot cone yeah. out of my sound two. funnel. That'll do. Two of them very neatly. Uh, wonderful. Uh, roll some damage. Oh, okay. And that's a check. Is it the place that you will say? Yeah, yeah. Rise again, say half a song through a ballpark. Wow. Although, if they could, I'm assuming that they. Yeah, that's fine. Only because if you critically fail to save, they're deafened, but that's not relevant. Uh, So, uh, because you're using a spell with audio, you actually won't notice that they are mechanically deafened just by that. Nice. Music seems to have a special hold. Six. Six. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Uh, these are not beefy boys. That looks like it hurts them quite a bit. <laughs> they are shambling zombies. Uh, you see, they, they kind of reach bleeding out their hands ears. And twisted and uh, broken limbs. Mm. Uh, they don't look happy about it. <laughs> uh, Sibylla. Drizel is very happy about that. You. So we've got some zombies here. Something's clearly wrong with Merida and Mordred. Uh, and you're and singing badly, what could have been useful at some point. 
my god. What would you like? Um, I don't know if I can influence the merit of Mordred situation. You do also see that as uh, Drizella uh, uses this, sings this haunting hymn, the kind of the green, lime green fog that's been spreading around the floor of these parts of the dungeons almost pulls away from where that uh, sound goes. Ah, so the audiometry helps. Well, it seems that, to be some effect. With, in that case, yeah. I'm going to. I am going to use full horn. Yeah, you. You. Uh, I won't even make you make a check. You feel like there's probably something with the sound here. Well, uh, what, what, that's an actual spell. Yeah, it's cool, an actual cool. spell, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it it, it that's means that's I can amplify spot. my voice to 500 feet. Nice. <laughs> I didn't know that when I took what I said that. Cool. I just thought what she was I saying like when I was um, Yeah. <laughs> learning all sorts of new things tonight. Let me check some, let me check some rules I wrote real sing quick. Sing a happy tune. Absolutely wild. I'm surprised I wasn't a side, sidebar on that. Uh, what do you say or sing as you use this book? Happy tune. Happy tune? You're going to do some singing as well? There's a give not pass. Well, not well. Here's a performance check. Um, that's a happy song. <laughs> Wake me up. Yes. Oh, yes. Go, go. <laughs> Love it. Cue the book. <laughs> yeah, something of that nature. Um, what to you is just a plus one. So. It may be shit, but it's going to be loud. <laughs> it will be loud. <laughs> it's a bit strange. Seven. But lick me up. <laughs> you see uh, echoing through the screen. You're also all cramped as close as possible mm. to Sibylla when this goes off. Uh, as you just see. I really wish I rolled better on my, my initiative. Initiative. Because I could have got those ears. <laughs> Rumbling and shaking <laughs> the walls. Uh, you see the green fog is pushed away 500 feet uh, distance, so outside of all your sights. Uh, it goes. Um, Merida, make a new No, I can't. No, I'm going to put it in. That's a nine. That's a nine. Uh, that is a failure yeah. narrowly avoiding a critical failure. It's going to be like Marty McFly mm-hmm. plugging into the uh, mm-hmm. You see a little bit of wisp hanging around Merida, um, but there's a little look of recognition on her face. Uh, something helpful seems to have happened with that sort of spell. I do not realise you've taken boot. That is a good, <laughs> very good <laughs> spell. Did Merida join in? Not quite. She didn't. You, so she got to make that save again. Didn't quite break the spell, but it did. Uh, it did quite a bit of help. Uh, Merida, your turn. Just hear this. Could it be with you instead? Go back a, a few moments in time to when you heard the music. Yeah. Uh, heard the music, the, the zombie described it as the sound of the bones aging, the sounds of the worms chewing the ground, the grass growing yeah. on a hot day. Uh, this, is, this is not a pleasant song to hear. This is the sound of time passing beyond you, and the world turning and forgetting you behind it. It's not really music as much as it is some sort of spell in there, some sort of great force entering your mind. Uh, and you see you are standing, querying the woods. There are wisps about you, as well as you are a gentle fog rolling around the place. Uh, <coughs> you see the deception check. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Until you see it through the fog to start with two glowing eyes, a purplish red color steps out as you see a bear whose nose uh, sits in the air far above the ground. This creature must be 10, 20 times at least. Uh, as it begins staggering into the clearing you find yourself in. What do you do? Um, I would probably immediately try and shoot at it with, yeah. my, with my arrow. Uh, you go for your arrow. Because uh, I'm in make make-believe world, I'm not here. Absolutely. Uh, you hit, you deal five damage to Mordu, uh, Mordred, Mordu, one of the two. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, mm-hmm. As you see, it rears up behind you uh, and opens its mouth for terrible screams and sounds coming out uh, as you feel your consciousness fading in this world. So try to make those one second. 
Um, you're charmed on this turn, so you're going to take uh, actions. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you hit the bear with an arrow, it is screamed at you. You can see it rearing its claws back for an attack. What would you like to do? Um, I look around mm-hmm. and try to find like a tree to kind of hide behind. Give yep. myself a bit of cover. Absolutely. Um, give me a luck check. Just <clears throat> 17. 17. Um, you, uh, yep, you head for a tree. Um, you go there, you find a tree, you climb up it. Uh, that's uh, one action to run, one action to climb. You've got uh, one a- action left. Uh, like first shot as well. Uh, you, uh, you did, that was on your last turn, just in the count spot. Oh, so you can take another okay. shot now. Um, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Shot, wonderful. Uh, um, um, is that a 17 for the... 17 does not hit Morgan's ACF. Yeah. Uh, as the rest of you see Merida still in a trance, run down the hallway, uh, climb up a rotted piece of wood, knock an arrow, and loose it at Mordred uh, down the hall, but not manage to penetrate her armor. Mordred kind of ducks back behind the wall. Uh, and at the end of your turn, you can make that same thing. Um, eleven. Eleven. I'm eleven still does not quite do it. Um, I don't expect oh, Mordred to shout Merida a beer at the next no. time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bigby, that is you. He probably would though. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> use my first I action and put my earplugs in. You. Uh, <laughs> lots of noise going on, strange music <laughs> is in the air, earplugs in. So I assume that's an action? That is an action. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, well yeah, is um. <clears throat> Would you count as these guys being part of the mystery for the my pursuer laid sort of thing? Oh, no, sir. Okay, cool. Uh, then I will strategic strike mm-hmm. um, hits. I guess the one on the right. You so you're currently shooting through one of these two people's space, so you will they'll, they'll have partial cover. Okay, um, or you can take a movement action to go inside. To be fair, right, I'm in that this case, form, I we will probably um, shoot over the top of me. That is probably fair. Drizella is fully in the doorway though, so yeah. Yeah. instead of that I will actually um I'll I'll take my line side out and and move forward and attack them in that way. Wonderful. You want to uh, engage with them in melee? Yeah. Uh, here what move? Yeah. Yep. So I, I would have almost one. certainly stopped on one side or other of the door rather than in the doorway. I wouldn't have obstructed. Uh, you couldn't have got them both in the fifteen foot cone no. anyway. I would, okay, I would probably sacrifice that rather than oh, okay. or I'll, move I'll, or can you split? You can't split your movement, can you? Across? You can't split no, that's fine. Right. That's what I was just checking. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, wonderful, Jesse. That's you. Earplugs, movement, sight. Yeah. Uh, that is two other shamblers' turns. They try to break their bonds. Uh, it's a count. Uh, that will not do it. As you see, they again just running full pelt, getting caught on the train. Uh, a, a horrible, stagnant water like They are not nice. Uh, that is the zombie lords. The zombie lords. The zombie lords. Uh, <clears throat> what does a zombie lord look like here, I think? Uh, zombie lord, much like a regular zombie, but a lot more well preserved. Um, I'll show you the art. This is and not like, a crown of death. And the other like one eyeball. This is not exactly what the, this one looks like. This one's got kind of like this green, almost leaf patterned uh, plate armor and a great horn helm, mm-hmm. uh, long broken. But yeah, it's kind of well preserved. They don't have like broken or crooked limbs. Uh, this one's also covered in that green fog as well, blasting back this beautiful horn. Mm-hmm. Uh, can. Everyone in that circle, uh, please make me a fortitude. I'm from Merida. Saving throw. Fortitude. Okay, I'm already in fortitude. enough trouble. I don't need to make any more saving throws. Oh, God. Uh, Is any this of you... to do with sound at all or no? Uh, no, I'm, um, no, this one right. isn't. Uh, remind me again the next time this thing takes a turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyone, no one's suffering from disease, are they? No? <laughs> Uh, but we did. That's not disease. That is a lingering injury. That's not disease. Tetanus. Yeah. <laughs> not quite. Tetanus. It's not infected yet. Not infected yet. Uh, quite some numbers. What do we got? Ten. Ten. Fail. Yep. Fifteen. Fail. 
Shake a little uh, and get all excited with a burst of energy. Uh, <laughs> uh, you see, uh, growing out from the ground, these horrible spiky vines, uh, these brambling, uh, awful plants that snake around your ankles uh, with these great thorns on them that look uh, very nasty. Uh, this area is going to be difficult. No? Yes. <laughs> no? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Paragraphs of description for the spell. Um, yes. No. Uh, that is two actions uh, with its remaining action. Mm, that's a bit mean. Won't do that. We mean. Do we? Alright. Thanks, B. Yes. I'm going down now. Uh, Peach? Uh, no, it could uh, be. Busy, Drizella, can you both roll me a luck check and call out? 18. 18? Gisella? 9. 9. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Gisella, can I get another fortitude save? Oh, for goodness sake, another fortitude save? I'm going to change my bloody dice. Uh, As you see, they look over to you. Hero point, hero point. Oh, yeah, all right. Hero point. (laughs) Thank you. Hmm? I I largely leave them there for the entire game. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a 12. It's a 12. Well, yeah, it would have been an 18 beforehand. But, yeah. Oh, no, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. 17. Uh, with a 17, uh, that, is a six, uh, that is a failure. Sorry, a 17. Mm-hmm. Um, you, only take, you take another three for damage. Like, they roll abysmally. Uh, as you see, they, they mm. speak to you in Necro. Oh. Uh, they say, uh, you are... Uh, we may share the same language, but I feel we do not serve the same master. Mm. Uh, Mordred, that is back to you. Okay, um, I'm going to probably still try and help Merida. Mm-hmm. Um, can I use my movement to Seven get points. over to her? Sure can. You've got 25 foot of movement? Uh, yes, I do. Wonderful, so that's uh, 5, 10, <laughs> yeah, I'll put the 15, one that's 20, us. Uh, 25. The movement gets to the edge of that thing as you... Walk through this undergrowth of these horrible yeah, pointed uh, the I'm gonna die wrap around your ankles, you know. Uh, <laughs> spikes going Can I use my dex action? You, you, you certainly have to lead to be a whole action to move yeah. that last fight. Do you want to do it for you? Yeah. Uh, one action. Right? Would I be able to put my. Because I saw her react and the the green go away when she goes with the song. Would mm-hmm. I be able to put my hand over her ears? Absolutely. We'll call that a health action. Yeah. Uh, give us a. No, it's it's you gotta do a. Uh, I think we'll call that an automatic success on a health action. Okay. Um, roll the dice, see if you crit. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> uh, well, uh, you're all fine. That was just to see if you get a critical it? success. Okay. Help, help will work fine since you're just doing an action okay. for a very basic task. Sorry. Yeah. That's too funny. <laughs> That is yeah, uh, in true. fact, you you conk a little bit too hard with your like because you are like so, like, so I take a I've got chain mail. Yeah. Yeah. Take a chain mail. Uh, absolutely. Oh no, that's okay. I only take two two damage. Uh, but that will be a health action, so you will get a bonus to your next save. Uh, some more zombies are going to go. Uh, Big B, you're being attacked. Just by the by. <sighs> How does a yes. <laughs> an eight sound? No, okay, that does not. <laughs> uh, how about a, a critical fail? No, I assume that is. Uh, a three crit fail. Uh, and last but not least, uh, can you please make me a? Oh, nasty. Uh, if you're not at your full hit points, are you? Nope. Uh, it uses an action to deal you two 
uh, damage. As you see, uh, just the undead festerous from this spreads all that green fog and just seeks out your wounds and seeps into it, uh, injuring you further. Oh. Uh, the, shambler, the Shambler and the Charger oh, attempt to break free of their things. Uh, neither succeeds. Yeah. Uh, they are still restraining this. They are just bolting against these. You see the, the chain pulling slowly out of the old block. I feel like this is getting easier for them to break free every turn. Grisella, that is... You know I should pop them in the face when I have a chance. Yep. I'm gonna... I'm gonna whack. Um, I'm gonna move into melee with... Yeah. Yep. So it'll be mm-hmm. my movement. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to draw my mace mm-hmm. as an action, and then I'm going to whack the nearest skeleton zombie zombie undead, looking thing. undead thing in front of me that's being mean. Go for it. Uh, and you also see as you step up to there, this uh, bright glowing light that seems to be the origin of this strange line of fog spreading about the place. 21. 21 is a critical hit. As you bonk this thing one and truly on the head. Okay, so that's 2d6, I think, for critical hit. Uh, one. Crit is just the same damage. But yeah. Oh, so unless it's You're a spell. No, no, no. It just says on a critical it's 2 times 1d6. Uh, yep, so in this, uh, 2 times 1d6 means 1d6 double. Yep, yeah. okay. So 8 then. 8 damage. Um, yeah, crits in Pathfinder, yeah. you, you always double. Uh, after double your rolls dice, yeah. Unless you don't get uh, eight still alive, but only just. You see, you fully take out this thing's yep. head in a horrible squelch. Uh, the body stays there and prepares to lunge at you. That's right. Well, I'm doing that point. while continuing thematically mm. to sing. Absolutely. So, Valdry, Valdron, Kunk. Kind of. Villa, that is yeah. you. You stand pretty much dead center in the middle of these horrible brambles. So it just reminded me, mm-hmm. you get three actions in a turn, three but actions. movement counts as one of those movement actions. Movement does indeed count as one of those actions. Excellent. All right, just sorry. Please. Um, so can I please move over to sort of the corner inside their room, please? Uh, yep, over here. Uh, the other corner, please. Uh, this corner? Yes, please. Sure, can. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That gets you there exactly. All right. I so will... Then... Your These brambles probably come up to like your you know, mid-thighs sort of thing, uh, as they seem to grab your feet to uh, that's one action. Oh, so how far away is the is the boss creature? Uh, 40 feet. 30 feet? 40. 40 feet. All right. In that case, can I rip on that and move up next to Big B instead, please? Uh, sure can. That gets you within 30. Okay. And then I shall cast a phase ball. Oh, damn. I'll come here, my foot. There it is. Um, okay. I think I uh, oh, cool! That one, uh, that one. You see, you shoot the phantom. You see, it just moves through the zombie and not targeting as that bypasses uh, partial defense. Hmm. Yep. So I don't think that has to roll to hit. Mm, no, yeah, I believe it face bolt just it has to it's plus insane. nine. It's spe- oh, it is spell attack. Oh. So yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So roll to roll. So to it's roll to just roll. like attacking with a weapon, sort of thing. Yeah, you've got a plus nine to your spell attack, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, th- 23. 23. Uh, I, that might be. No, for the Lord, that's not quick. That is a hit. So, Alright, uh, so 3d4 damage. 3d4. If you see this. Ooh, that's a crap roll. A 4. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, what does heightened mean? Heightened is upcasting, so a second level spell slot. So right, okay. You don't have it. No, no, no. Uh, but higher levels, you can cast it as a second. Yeah. Or rather, you can prepare it as a second. Uh, that's, that's my turn. Well, turn. Uh, you get a hit off at this. Uh, as it is hit, Meredith, you can have a wisdom. Which you can add to one hit. Can indeed. Uh, your will save is plus five, so plus six. And when you get on the dice, plus twenty-two, you break free of the illusion. Uh, the music stops. Uh, 
can see the bear is no longer on as it uh, attempts to swipe at you again and just vanishes away as you see Mordred uh, standing in front of you. Mordred, you see the grit in the face of the eyes. Come on. Mordred is saying, welcome back. No, very flustered and what happened? I was in a forest and Roger was there and, and, and you're okay, but we're in a bit of danger. And now okay. that is then your turn. Okay, wonderful. Do I see uh, so what is that green circle? Uh, that is uh, brambles, uh, little uh, vines with thorns growing out the ground. It's difficult to find. So moving across that is going to take uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 feet of movement to get to into the room from where you are. Can I? Uh, unless you do something clever. Well, I was going to say, can we get to an area where I can at least see a, an enemy? You've got these walls here, yeah, unfortunately. Right. So you need to do your 60 foot to yeah. get there. Which okay. Is, uh, a triple dash for you. Yeah. Otherwise. No, yeah, that's fine. Just triple dash. You, you, can, uh, you can jump, would be, might be there. That'll be a check that might get you a lot further. Well, what does the frighten. Uh, just reduces uh, your. Uh, also, that ends with the spell as well, oh, okay. I think. So, uh, and that would reduce a bunch of yours, but it all does it automatically at the end. You can attempt to jump, uh, so you can make an athletics check for that. Um, no, I'll, I'll just you run. Just run? Yeah, Absolutely. I'll just run to get into the room. Uh, so you have speed, 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 speed. Can I drive more okay. with me? Uh, you know what? I'll allow it, yeah. Uh, Mordred, you have to be dragged? Yeah. One little, yeah, between two. I might try to do that. Oh. Um, you, uh, hold the hand for a second. Yeah. Um, one little drag, Mordred through. Just because um, I know you're small, and if it's difficult to rain, <laughs> it'll take you forever to get that clear. Just charging through, uh, the undergrowth. The least I can like, do I'm for attacking you. Big B, that is your turn. The least I can do for attacking okay. you. Okay. You see this zombie, uh, standing from you, uh, ready to, well, no, not ready to, uh, biting at you. Alright, uh, ominous. Take a regular swing at him first. Mm-hmm. With my land size. Oh, that's super dog shit. I'm gonna use my other hero for one. Yep. Okay. 23. 23 is a crit. Cool. Uh, that'll be 10 slashing damage. Uh, how would you like to finish off this zombie? Straight through from shoulder to hip. Just all the way. Nice. The sound of cutting out uh, And all the way through, and then he just slowly slides. Yeah, like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. You see, for a moment, the zombie uh, looks <laughs> good, 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 <laughs> uh, as it is gone. Okay, and then I'm going to point at the next, at the one in front of um, mm-hmm. What's your character, Drizella? Mm-hmm. Uh, the one in front of Drizella. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you're next. And then Love I'm going to devise a stratagem, and then I'm going to have another swing at this guy. Mm-hmm. So this one I'll be using my intelligence. So Hang on. Do you have your one. next of feet, or are you just using that to create a, that, that Sorry? Do you have your next of feet? No, no, oh, the, I'm sorry. just using that as. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. Like that. there's, there's also a feat. It's more than your next. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Take that, go ahead. No, it's, it's defies a stratagem that I'm using. Love um, but yeah. Yeah, go for it. And uh, you just gave Jesse his next feet. When you okay. when you finish an enemy, you can make a free intimidation check. Okay. That that would work well for Big B. It's great for Scott. Right, it's only nine to hit. Only a nine? Uh, I'm afraid that won't quite do it against these zombies. They're weak, but not quite. Alright, I'll I'll have one more s- swing for my last attack. Sure thing. So that's a minus ten penalty. Minus ten. I've only got minus two. For for it. So with your... Oh, sorry, I mean, yeah, you're all good. Okay. Ignore me. I forget part one does it. Uh, You're going to bin, guys. (laughs) Hitting with your third attack's pretty tricky, generally speaking. Yeah, I just rolled rolled four in a row that were under ten, though. Yeah, that's... that's So, like, you can... Um, You give it a try. Uh, Unfortunately, you just cannot manage to get a hit on this thing. Uh, It's missing head seems to be giving it a weird, uh, wobbly state as it dodges side to side. Uh, this one's going to try and escape. It does not. And then the one, uh, uh, Sibylla, the one near you, is going to take some attacks. Okay. Well, flying dice only work well when I'm playing. Uh, how does a 19 sound? As far as my. A uh, armor class. I am. Um, yeah, it, it passes. Uh, wonderful. Oh, well, not for you. Um, <laughs> that is. Ooh, that's 9 bludgeoning damage. Right. 
seeing on my hit points are. I'd be on the top next to your AC. Ah, yes. Carry on. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, you see, as it, uh, it digs its claws into you, it attempts to grab hold of you uh, with a 12. Uh, oh, damn, look, you just got good saves all right, so there. Nice. Uh, yeah, it attempts to hold you, but you swerve out of its way. Okay. Um, Did I roll the save? No, so uh, it, it has to, it makes a check. Oh, it has, has to, to check again for my save. Right. So it rolled a 12 and had to roll a 15. Yep, no, understood. Uh, and its last turn uh, goes for another claw attack. Uh, that one will hit with a uh, only uh, four points of damage. How you look at health points? Oh, oh my okay. case. Wonderful. Uh, that is Half dead. the zombie lord. Uh, so was that the zombie lord or the zombie that got me? No, just the, the little guy. The regular uh, zombie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> rowing, uh, swinging its arms at you. Um, the zombie lord's going to have a go. Mm. Hmm? Great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Sibylla, could you please make me a will save? Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, as you see the brambles slink back into the earth. <laughs> hero point! Love the hero point usage. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Plus 10 is so helpful. It's a really good rule, isn't it? It is. Hey, that's still 16. Plus whatever. My, my Plus four 10. rolls were 2, 5, 7, and 7. Cool, so you add 10 to it, only the single digit. Yeah, so it's a single digit, yeah. Yeah, only when you use on his, on hero points. It's only because it's too easy, easy then, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you've only got those two hero points, so now you're done. Well, it's only the hero points. Yeah, it's done. only the yeah, hero points. Hero points, points yeah, yeah. Wow. Very done then. So, 24. So 24? Success. Um, yeah, I like so. that because then that way you don't have to. Unfortunately, yeah. spellcasting and pathfinders really mean, and a success often still causes some. Uh, you see these brambles slinking back underneath the ground uh, as this thing looks to you and its eyes go bright uh, as you see it says to you uh, do you miss the pains of age Ooh. Uh, as you start to remember back to just before you reversed your uh, condition the, the slipping of your mind as the disease took hold of you uh, and you are frightened Ooh. frightened is giving you back your Frightened. Well, <laughs> you look in conditions on yep. the thing that you're frightened. Uh, yeah, the top right corner next to Max. Ah, yes. Uh, we'll just take it. Yeah, pretty much everything. It's, it's, it's hard, but uh, what are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Oh. <laughs> all the red numbers that pop all up on red. your screen. Oh, <laughs> it hurts my soul. Up until five minutes ago, I hadn't had a single bit of damage done to me, and a single thing happened. Now, guess we're in melee. <laughs> Mordred, that is you. Um, you are, you're up the front. The brambles are gone now, uh, yeah. as the zombie lord. Uh, and you see, uh, the zombie lord maintaining intense eye contact. Yeah. yeah. Um, is everyone within fifteen feet of me? I think they would be. Uh, uh, Sibylla is twenty feet, but everyone else is fifteen. Um, so you're checking this. Oh, sorry. If you take a movement action. Actually, I'm going to move just in front of Merida there. There? Yep. Um, I think that's one movement, actually. One movement, and then I'm going to cast Bless on everyone. Nice. Um, so, to begin with, it affects everyone within five feet of me, and then it be spread to 15 feet. Uh, wonderful. So, uh, Sibylla doesn't benefit from that to start with, but yep. we'll do once it's to 10 foot. Um, and I'll, you'll see the light emanate from his cloak and kind of threads will wrap around each of your weapons and spellcasting focuses, like a little bow to... Nice. Huh. And that's my turn. <laughs> what does it do mechanically? You get plus one to everything. Okay. Very cool. Oh, sorry, to attack the holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was one. That one is dead. Uh, Shambler's turn. I'll try to escape yet again. Uh, 13 does not do the trick. Zombie Charger's turn. Uh, Drizella, that one that's attacking you, is going to go for another couple of swings. How does a... that's a miss. How about this one? That's a miss. 
Uh, and third and finally, an 11 won't do it for you, will it? No. No. Uh, again, bringing down blows, but it's just slow and blind. It's kind of swinging in the wrong air, uh, you know, bit of space. Drizella, that's your turn. Me and that zombie are just going off. <laughs> it's a fight, but we're not really sure who's having to watch. It's a slappy fight. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use an action to whack the nearest one with my mace. So that's plus one. Yeah. yeah. So that is 25. Uh, crit. He- heavy crit. Oh, that's the thing mechanically. Uh, that's, that's another eight. Uh, that's another eight. Uh, you have <laughs> finished this one off. You don't just knock his head off. You completely cave it. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's the Valdere. So you've never seen Drizella. This is almost a happy song in terms of the stuff she normally sings. Tipperary. And then she will. Mm, so that's so one action to smack him in the face. Uh, they were um, really difficult to rain as they get, by the way. Yeah. Um, it's a tight, tight little corridor fight, this one. So there's some lots of corner cover, lots of... Uh, can I like get within one square of... Can I get with it? Can I get... Yeah. How close can I get to those guys? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. You can get within melee of both if you want to. Mm. You will lose the bless. It's fine. Um, I'm going to take a swipe at... So that's two actions, isn't it? Movement. Yeah, move. Okay, and I'll take a swipe at one of the other ones then. Yeah, go for it. Uh, they are mechanically identical. So. Okay, so that's 20 to hit. Uh, that's a... Uh, uh, let me check something real quick. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, so that's six. Six? Yep. Lovely. Uh, again, these are not beautiful things. So it's okay. quite a bit of uh, Wonderful. Uh, that's your question. Uh, Sibylla, that is you. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Caustic Blast, what used to be Acid Splash. Mm-hmm. And it does a 30 foot Splashing. splash. Can it go project to capture both enemies in it? Uh, so sorry, so uh, Corset Blast is a five foot splash, but you can put the five foot splash oh, within Oh, sorry, the sorry, my apologies, I won't yes. use that. So you can get two of them with that if you want to, then. Yeah. Lob it over my head. I'm going to actually do, because there's only two, two enemies left, isn't there? Uh, there's uh, four, no, there's these one, two, two three, three this big guy here, attacking you, and then right. the zombie. I'm going to do, do something else. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do Breathe Fire Ooh. and Ooh. capture both of those two because it's a, it's a oh, 15 foot cone, would that be enough? Uh, 15 will get some of them. Breathe fire from the star phone. There's an arts from the star phone, why can't I can't see it. Uh, you get unlimited yeah. uses of that with this one. No, no so stars, stars work off charging, which we haven't done. Because uh, I know you've used that once before and it's done. Uh, your staff at level one. Uh, let me check the staff tribunals with it. Either one charge or two. Staff. Wrong staff. Here we go. Staff and close it. Staff and close it. No. Um, I'm going to get two charges at level one. Actually, no, I'll change my mind. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm going to change my mind again. Not, sorry, I'm, I'm not used to being a spellcaster, so I have to. No, no, you're fine. Specific. So I am going to do a caustic blast to right. those two over there. That's a, that's a, that seems like a pretty <coughs> Uh, so that's a reflex save from both of them. Uh, yes. Uh, wonderful. And that's 18 to your DC, is it? Oh, my, my, spell, my DC attack, is it? Or? No, yeah, your DC is currently 18. Correct, because it had the, 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 the frightened. Uh, right. That is a fail and a critical fail. Nice. So does that mean double damage for critical fail? Uh, double damage for critical fail is, uh, I don't think it has any other, no, it doesn't have any other damage. And uh, so that oh takes up one persistent damage, which is real bad. So, right, so, so it's a D eight. Yep. Do I roll two D eight, one each, or just yeah, one roll, roll the same? D8s. Roll roll one first for the regular. Two. Two, and then roll for it. Two. two. <laughs> so 
foot. Four. Yeah. One foot. Uh, four, <laughs> it also takes one persistent lead damage, <coughs> which means that on its turn, it's, it's going to take another hit of damage. Now, that was two of my actions, and I'm going to use a third action if that's okay. It absolutely is. And I'm, I'm going to cast Scorching Blast and capture these two in it. Nice. It's a, it's a 30 foot um, thing. So you evoke a massive fire there. Oh, yeah, Scorching Blast is a one action spell. Wow. Those, are, those are rare. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, and that's it, an attack roll. So right? an attack roll. Do I add any modifiers? You do. You add plus eight to your attack rolls at the moment. Okay. For spell attacks. You would normally add plus nine, but you've got that field condition. Nice. Uh, that would be 26. Uh, who did you say you were targeting that? The Lord? Both, or the of, both of them, because they can capture both of them in a range, it says. You have an extra five down, so if you're a Lord, you Last targets within 30 feet. Blah, 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 um, it looks like it only hits one target for me. Am I reading the right spell description? Scorching Blast. Yeah, that to me reads as a hit one. You can blast. Oh, sorry, targets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. us. Go for a one action spell. That's amazing. It's pretty like, good. Yeah, I mean, it does a decent bit of damage. Yeah. Really? So I'm not seeing you might find is real nasty because you have to compare them. So is any of them crit? Because it was this 20 is better than the others. Both of them. Both of them crit fail. Uh, sorry, yeah, crit fail on both of them. Both, okay, so I'll roll two lots. Of, uh, do I just want to roll one lot? And it, it, yeah, it's both each. the same. You can roll 2d8 uh, for the uh, oh, two two eight. Eight. Two No, you already did that one for the other one. Huh? Oh, this is a secondary spell. Okay. No, that's okay. 2d8. Um, uh, okay. So that's to the first one, cops. No, no, so you add those 2d8 together? Yep. Four. Which is four. So they both take eight fire damage. Yep. Um, which is uh, not terrible, but they also both take a d6 persistent fire damage, which is Holy really going to hurt. So on their turn, every turn they're taking a d6 fire damage from now on. Uh, quite <coughs> Are you going to roll that? I, I'll roll that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that on the front, uh, Zombie Lord is real nasty because they have some horrible spells. Uh, is a way to do lingering damage. I don't know what it is. Hmm, I like that spell. Um, it's a damn good spell for single action. Um, Sibylla, that's a great use of your three action. Merida, that is you. Cool, Leo. Um, can I can I see one that two? Uh, probably okay. not. You're probably going to need to take a movement. I'm afraid there's a, there's a door. Okay, that, that's fine. You can um, get either of these two, but if you want to go for the big jar, you've got to accept. Uh, okay, I'll I'll just go for that guy then. I'll cool. shit out of my bottle. Go for it. Oh, I'm gonna hunter's mark. Uh, uh yep. Yeah. Uh, stalk prey. I think it's called in this. Yeah. But same difference. Um, and that's a net twenty on the dice. Ooh. Um, Incredible. plus eight, so plus twenty-eight one. to hit. Yeah, that's definitely a crit. Cast it. <laughs> Six. Six. Two damage. Two, two damage, so double to four. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing's looking pretty beat up. Um, I guess I'm just trying to shoot at it again. Yep. Uh, don't forget, because you've used your Hunter's Mark thing, you uh, can add one to that next attack. Um, uh, two, sorry, because you've got less as well. So okay. you're adding two and whatever that modifier is. No. I've got four, four on the dice. So it's a total of uh, eight. This has effects of crit fail as well. No, that won't. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't hit crit fail. That'd be terrible. Yeah. Uh, you've got a third action if you want to take it. Well, I'm sorry, you've got a third action. I recommend you take it. You could move into the room if you like, so that next yeah. turn you won't need to worry about that. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I'll just move into the room. Uh, how does here look for you? Uh, there. Uh, there? Uh, that you have eyes on this top left zombie, but not the one you just hit earlier. <coughs> hmm? My dice is up here. Your foot there. Okay. There you go. <laughs> your turn. Wonderful. Bigby, that's you. Right. Um. Two dead zombies. One. Uh, two burning zombies. You see the fire uh, there, just engulfed in flames around the room. I would like to um, switch my weapon out to my crossbow. Yep, that's one action. That's one action. Yep. To so put it away and, or, or drop it and then grab 
Uh, right. So I believe, unless I'm mistaken, you can uh, stow a weapon and produce another one as part of the same. Right, cool. I was looking at the thing. I couldn't yeah. find it. It's, yeah. it's one of those things that's written in like a paragraph in the rules somewhere. Everything yeah, okay. else is one action, one th- uh, item. But I believe weapons. I was hoping, but I just wanted to check. Cool. So that's one, um, and then I'll use my... Um, uh, if you're checking. Um, my... If you're to, uh, <laughs> what's the name? Free... I like it as one action anyway. Yeah. Divide the stratagem on mm-hmm. the zombie lord, and I will Absolutely. shoot at him. Go for it. With boss eight. Uh, and that's going to be a 23 to hit. Damn. That'll certainly hit. Sweet. Um, okay. In the future, that's two actions to do. Oh, there's two actions to do? In the future, not take, to it be as, take it as one in this. Okay. Um, that's eight damage. Eight damage? Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Uh, anyone under effects? Sibylla, you're under fear condition. Mm-hmm. Sibylla, you can make another uh, will save. Nice. Try to beat that uh, one there. Uh, will. Will. Yes. Uh, uh, 17. 17 won't quite do it, I'm afraid, as you still. Uh, so, feel... if I had to go to 9 rather than a 10, it mm-hmm. would have actually been better. Only with a hero. Oh, no, that's only a hero point. Yes, only a hero point. Um, I was only going to use the third action to reload anyway, so I can oh. do that at the start of my next turn if you want. Uh, yeah, if you're happy to. Yeah, yeah. Call it one. Um, so yeah, two actions to swap weapons. Cool. Um, uh, it's not quicker if I just drop one on the, on the ground. Uh, Yes, sorry, dropping something is a free action, so you okay, can just cool. drop your side. Yeah, then that's what I would have done. Cool. Uh, and then drop I, so my third action bang, just bang, reload, reload, so I'm ready to go for the next round. Wonderful, beautiful, love. Um, that is uh, Drizella going to go for uh, an attack at you. Uh, you see, it goes for a swipe with its claws, 13 to hit. Misses. Misses, and 12 to hit also misses. Uh, third attack, almost impossible to hit, but it doesn't. Smart enough to do anything else. Zero misses. Uh, just swipe at you, uh, but it's still attached to the wall, it's still stuck in its chains. So you can just take a half step back and it uh, has a real hard time hitting you. Uh, Sibylla, the one next to you, is actually going to try to break free because it's on fire. Mm. It fails terribly. It's going to take its damage. Whoops. What do you mean by break free? Like, basically, like a save it's spell? Still chains, not but, uh, it's still, still tied to a wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Uh, that's four fire damage just passively on its turn. Uh, as it's burning up, uh, roll to see if that ends. It's still on fire. Um, that is a real nasty spell. Uh, Zombie Lord's gonna go. First of all, burns for two points of damage. Remains on fire. Uh, the way passive damage works is you roll a, a flat dice, and if it's a 15 or higher, it stops. But if it's a 14 or less, it just keeps taking the damage. So it can just keep suffering passive damage for a so long time. It's a really nasty effect. Uh, so nasty, in fact, that it's going to target you. Oh, no. Uh, actually, surprise, surprise. In fact, why target you when we can share the love? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see, it's going to target everybody. Oh. Uh, I thought you meant another character, not the entire party. No, no, no. <laughs> why did he do that? That'd be boring. We're all pretty close. <laughs> uh, we're all grouped up a big like happy that. family. Can I get a fortitude save from everyone, please? Yes. Is this hearing related? This is not this thing has two spells, so we're not hearing the language. Fortitude. 23. Uh, success. Success. Uh, failure. So Eight. Eight. Uh, critical failure. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. Fuck. Same. Critical oh, failure. <laughs> Drizella, how are we looking? Oh, oh sorry. You are right. Fortitude six. Six. Oh, yeah. I use my I got them. Um, um, I'm very pointless. Twenty. Four. Twenty-four. Good giant. Good giant. Those of you who critically failed, take eight. Four damage. Those of you who failed, take only four. All right. How much did you say? I thought eight. Eight. I'm I'm down. Uh, You also Uh, see the zombies seem to be invigorated by this. Oh dear. Uh, And are healed. Oh dear. Uh, And you see, this is all void damage, so it heals the undead four points. Um, they start taking my health, including the Lord itself. Uh, that triggered my reaction. 
um, just with a pop up maybe yep, absolutely. So can I move um, in front of that Sibylla there? Uh, that yeah. Sibylla? Yeah, so I can stride. Can I stride up to absolutely. it? Yeah. Uh, so Bigby, you're down. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Cool. Mordred's eyes are glowing with tears. Well, is it just stride? Yeah. Yes. Step on stride. Um, how's everyone else doing hit point wise, Mordred? Yeah, I'm struggling. Uh, I'm 19 out of 20. 19 out of 20. That numbers if you would. 3. 16. 16. 24. 24. Um, cool, you know. No. Uh, mm-hmm. Mordred, that is you. Uh, you see the zombie lord uh, as it casts this um, horrible emanation and uh, steps forward and says, You'll venture where mortals were never meant to tread. Leave this place. Uh, you see this horrible, awful uh, green light just glowing brightly, uh, invigorating the zombies and dampening their souls. Hmm. Mordred, okay, well, that's, this isn't what I was going to do, but I'm going to ca- cast a free action heal um, nice. with that, now that my catharsis is activated. Oh, damn, that will uh, that is exactly the opposite of what they just did. Yep. Um, wait, did they do... They just did a free action heal. <laughs> uh, um, you see, it, the exact opposite energy of magic. Uh, what, does it, what does a free action heal look like for Mordred? Um, so he's currently crying with those tears... Um, Magically charged, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's just just gonna be washed. It's of Ash tears. at the end of the first Pokemon movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, sorry, it's the it's the it's the Pokemon, but doing it to Ash. They it's, all it's cry in the like heel. Um, <laughs> positive energy. You see this positive energy rearing up against this no, horrible sorry. energy coming from the zombie battling it out. So the zombies are all gonna take. What? Zombies all gonna take. Can I just ask something really quick, mechanics wise? Because for my emotional fervor, any spell that you cast them. Restores hit points to the oh, it's to allies. Never mind. Never mind. So they're all going to take nine damage. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, nine damage. Nine damage. Nice. Right. Yeah, so they get yeah. to roll to all that. But that is really good soundtrack. Oh god! Oh, two critical failures. Well, that's, that. that's rough. Two of them take eighteen damage. Uh, you wipe off two of the zombies with that heal spell. Uh, sorry, you wipe off three of those. The zombies are dead. <laughs> that is nasty. That's How much did you heal? Um, and then everyone else will get ten hit points, and Big B will get eleven hit points. Is Do I anything? get ten too? Pardon? Do I get everyone, ten in that? Everyone yep. gets ten. I'm Amazing. back. Is there anything where like they're just so Thank evil you. that you very much. feed them a healing potion it would actually hit kill them? That's exactly what just happened with those zombies. So in part find it undead, uh, mm-hmm. damaged. So it's, it's like when we took on pestilence and we shot. That's how I healed. Exactly. That's no. how I healed them. That's where so that's how we got half spells. What do you mean? Uh, what's your safety set? Is it nineteen? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. So twenty nine is a critical success. So the zombie lord takes no, uh, none of that. So there's <laughs> yeah, and everyone else took just the zombie lord left. Right, and it destroys the corpses as well. Because why not? Uh, wild. Uh, Drizella, that's your turn. Uh, the only foe so, yes, left is the zombie lord tied up in those chains. Yeah, I'm going to walk up to him, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna touch him. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. And flens the bastard. So that no, so that's um, undead, isn't he? So spell attack roll. So that would be uh, e, plus eight. So that's twenty seven. You actually get a plus two bonus to this guy because he's restrained. Twenty nine. Oh yeah. So, on a hit, 2d6 slashing damage on a critical hit, double the damage, and the target becomes enfeebled one for Ooh. one minute. Oh, that's fantastic. What does enfeebled do? Enfeebled is nasty. It's a minus to most spell things. Okay. Yeah. So that is 16 damage. Holy shit. That is real painful for this guy. 16 damage. You, did you double that? You, wonderful. Uh, that takes 16 damage, is looking bloody at this point, mm-hmm. uh, and becomes an evil one. That is yep. not a good thing. So she basically just walks up mm-hmm. with her sort of um, general tools of the trade mm-hmm. and basically just starts, you know, hacking <clears throat> off any remaining chunks of skin 
with a rusty scissors and a rusty oh. saw blade and basically all you can see are just big chunks of zombie flesh oh. being ripped off That's this creature. Drizella <laughs> totally <laughs> works. <laughs> totally works where I work. Um, in fact, everything with around that, it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> zombie lord is going to stop fighting. Oh. Uh, you see, uh, they drop the spell. They see Colin's kind of Sevilla. Sevilla, you're no longer frightened. That uh, oh, ends on you. Um, we can add an addition unless you just want to kick its ass to death or something like that. I say, uh, I, I say to it in Necro, mm. uh, are you more inclined to come round to our way of thinking? We'd like to see your boss. Uh, you see, uh, it chuckles and says, I would be honoured to present you to my lord. <clears throat> Free me from these chains, I should say. Oh, you can just point us in the right direction, to be quite honest. You're looking very weak yourself right now. I'm you not sure he'd like to see you at the moment. Uh, you see, they think for a moment, and you see they say, they, say they, they just kind of chuckle and say, very well, perhaps... You are all worthy to bask in your masters. Uh, you see, they say, follow the light. Hmm. You see this great glowing green light coming from this coffin. And I translate the necro and go, he's decided to stay behind, probably because he's feeling a little bit shaky, what with his no skin on half of his limbs. Uh, follow the light to his boss. You see, as you all begin heading off, I'm currently super fine. Uh, what's that from? After my cathartic thing, if we're out of combat now. Um, yeah. Uh, stupefied. <laughs> How do you fix stupefied too? I've got to um, resettle my emotions. Oh. I need to go to therapy. You got to calm uh, down. Big B, you died for a hot I minute. Was there. Too mm. fun. <laughs> um, can you please just roll a d20? Okay. Mm-hmm. How are you doing you with death? Number? Obviously. Oh. Five. Five. <laughs> Um, that's not a high number. That I, looks like double digits. I'm not. Here. I'm not rolling anything, but like it's, above a seven. To I think we're going to say over that spot. Yeah. Yeah. Needs to do. Cleanse over that side. Um, I don't think it's recovered from when David was sitting mm, in that chair. Does he keep any do. particular faith? Do you think? Um. No, I think he's pretty atheist actually. Yeah. Um, the opposite what about time. morning law? Or at least yeah. not so much. Um, <laughs> not so much atheist, but more like um, what's her name? What's the other one? Like agnostic. Agnostic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he just hasn't seen enough proof. Yeah. Anything, yeah. In this this one, you know, there's really, you know, people have divine powers from worshiping gods, but whether you think they deserve you know, the praise is entirely your business. Yeah. Um, you uh, as you're down, um, you find yourself in a forest, much worse than. Uh, you, you've travelled the evergreen, you, you've walked through the green woods, you've seen you know, enormous trees that form a canopy so high the clouds pass underneath them. This is something else in time. This is dark and twisted. Uh, giant spiders, the size of horses, climb through the trees you can't see. Uh, millipedes swing around them and gnaw off whole branches. Uh, dark, evil things with wings fly over you and above you. Uh, you can't even see the top of the canopy here, but it still blocks out the light. Uh, you just occasionally these great trunks of trees growing out of the ground. Uh, and the things sort of mold rot all over the floor. Uh, in the far distance, there is something enormous and vast. Uh, give me a perception check. See what you can make out of it. Fuck it now. Something of bone and spite. Uh, sitting is not quite the right word. It's more that it's crumpled together where it is. Uh, it can't seem to move quite properly, but you see it begins to turn. Uh, and you get the horrible feeling it turns to look at you as you <coughs> wake up. Oh my god. Ugh. That'd be awful. Okay. Uh, I need a much important. Mordred is currently like, because he's stupefied and emotional, just, like crying on the ground and mm. kind of shaking, so he'll have to be dragged for. Yeah. Uh, Am I aware that you brought me back? Yeah. You okay. would have seen me with the no. light. I'll 
definitely go up to you and say thank you very much. You're welcome. That was a horrible place that I hope I never go to it ever again. <laughs> Hopefully you won't, and I'll kind of touch you and, yeah, it's shaking. Um, I'm going to stow away my, um, my, uh, what's the name? Scythe. I'll pick it Scythe up off the ground yep. and, um, and stow away my, mm-hmm. um, what's the name? Crossbow. Now I'm just going to pull out my, um, my sword cane. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to, like, start walking with that. Love it. I'm going to walk up to the zombie lord. Can I have a look at him and see how much damage I reckon he's got left? Yeah, for sure. Like how much health points he's got? Yeah. Um... I will tell you, um, unless you want to run this purely mechanically, narrative you can kill this guy easily. Okay, sick. Yeah, so I want to do, I want to go up to him, I want to just do the create a diversion action, mm-hmm. and just say like, is, can you point me again which direction I need to go? Mm-hmm. And then as he points, uh-huh. I'm going to just unsheath my sword cane and decapitate him. You see, he begins to say, follow the sound of the rhythm of uh, as the sword cane is. <laughs> I like quickly just wipe it, wipe it off, clean off my robes, and put it back out. I'm like Big V, was that necessary? He killed me. Carry on. Yes, <laughs> that was necessary. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> okay, let's go take on his boss. Big B, can you give me a will saving throw real quick? Okay. No. Uh, Nineteen. Incredible. Um, I rolled above ten. Yes. Hurrah. From the ground, uh, you start to hear a terrible. Awful song in the background. Oh no. Uh, as you see, the decapitated head begins to sing. Uh, you you don't become frightened at that save. Okay. Um, it was actually, because it, it was sound related, it was, oh, it was actually 21. Uh, right, so still, still just yeah, it's not, yeah. Still, yeah. You've got your headphones um, in, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Drizella, you would uh, understand the lyrics. Um, in fact, give me a um, religion check real quick. Uh, 22. Uh, 22, you recognise this is an old, uh, this is an old, almost like a fairy tale nursery rhyme type song. Yeah. Um, that is, it's about uh, going for a walk into the woods when your feet lead you to where you didn't think they would. Uh, losing the path but finding something else. Uh, that, you know, that sort of, like, it's just kind of thing children would sing, uh, but it's being sung in Necro, like, awfully and slowly. Huh? Uh, you have a feeling that this is a very ominous song to sing uh, as they're leading you somewhere uh, down a winding path. Oh, I turn back and sing Hickory Dickory Dock <laughs> in, in Necro. In minor. <laughs> in the minor. Yeah, very much in minor chords. Yeah. While, while twiddling, my, uh, while spinning my scissors <laughs> around my finger like that. Like a clock. <laughs> yeah, like a clock hand, exactly. Uh, you see the head... I think my lord will like you. <laughs> and you see, without the last angels of the head slip away, the green light fading from it as the body goes limp. Mm. Uh, he does not get at this point. Uh, do you head down the thin, winding cavern filled with green light in the. There is nothing like. Can anyone like... do any extra healing? That's not going to cost them too much. Or... I can uh, heal yeah, him. Can take, so you guys can spend ten minutes and do any downtime activities you have. Can we, yeah, you? I would like to yeah, set up my own. Treat wounds might be an option. Mm. Um, What's treat wounds? Treat wounds. If any of you are trained in medicine, yeah. Um, yeah. you can just heal people. How long do we want to stay here? Like, because no, I, 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 I mean, not, not trained in medicine. Uh, sure, uh, I, I, I am trained in medicine. I, I will. So. I, <laughs> I will <laughs> wander <laughs> over. And look at your wounds in a studious manner, um, and put away my put away my scissors and pull out this sort of horrible curved rusty needle with some <laughs> string attached to it, and I will treat wounds. Wonderful. Give us a medicine check. I'll go with death, please. <laughs> <laughs> that comes later, depending on how well this medicine check goes. Well, okay. Yeah, you'll get rust injury and that was all right. Um, 25. Uh, that's a crit success. It's so, a clean rust. I uh, who are you treating wounds on? Oh, anybody who... I'll start with I'll start with whoever's most injured and will let me. Uh, I'm still most injured. Probably... Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll start with Bigby then. Uh, 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 48 hit points back. 4d8. 4d8. Okay, wow. 
up. So you spend 10 minutes stitching up that sword. Are you rolling the idol music? You can roll the idol. You can only use that once. No, I don't think he wants to. And she's humming quite happily, hickory dickory dock. She's not singing it anymore. She's just humming it happily under an ink. Is anyone doing any other downtime activities? I have to spend it. Settling my emotions, so Mordred will be sitting in a corner away from everyone doing some embroidery. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Once I've finished stitching these wounds, which has settled my emotions, made me generally happy. Um, <laughs> That's got me back to full health. Thank you yeah, very much. it's really ugly though. I mean, it's just <laughs> yeah. like you're gonna have a great scar to talk about at, yeah. at the bar, at the tavern. Um, I go and offer, I go and offer Mordred some coffee because, like, there's nothing that settles your emotions more after a. Uh, after a taxing fight than some coffee. blood eye coffee. Yeah, can I roll whether I know about coffee? Because I haven't really. Uh, oh, bless her. Bless Mordred. Crafting, right there. What? Oh, wonderful. That uh, crafting check. Uh, um, 11? Closest thing to alchemy. You've never heard of this stuff. I, I take this at face value and I'll drink the coffee. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> The oh, coffee's excellent. Does that have mechanical? Um, or it or might do actually. I've got a whole load of random crap. Yeah, um, several paragraphs of text. Um, it does. Um, well, sort of. Um, <laughs> hold on, hold on a minute. Um, you know, it's got lots of things. It's well, sort of. So it says. <laughs> Say it says uh, usage held in one hand. Fine. The maximum addiction stage of the blood eye coffee never gets past a stage one addiction, which is good. Wait, um, am I addicted to coffee? Not yet. It's, all good. I've got it's a I've got saving it. throw against the addiction to coffee. So fortitude save. <laughs> I'm not giving you any more. It's only a fortitude. Uh, so that's the same. Onset 10 minutes, maximum duration of 8 hours. Um, it's stage, stage one, 1, plus 1 to AC, and saves when you're taking penalties, penalties caused by fatigue, which you probably... No one's fatigued. Yep. But, but if you get fatigued later then, that'll be helpful. That'll be helpful. And I'll you're not yet addicted. Yeah. And it feels great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. The happy buzz. <laughs> I go... Uh, you will see, as you begin to head this, <laughs> I'll walk at the back. <laughs> Uh, Feeling calm. Um, <laughs> you see that this, uh, at the end of this offshoot here, becomes what is very clearly a natural cavern mm. uh, that has been uh, connected into here with uh, years of erosion or poor habitat. Does it look like it's been hewn out by human hands and tools? No, this area looks very natural. Right. Uh, march in order if I could. You're heading up this skinny rock of cavern. I hear Mordred at the back. Do I hear anyone at the front? I guess oh, I no. Right. I'll go in the middle. I'll have my crossbow out. Wonderful. Gisella, where are you at? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'd probably be in the middle. In the middle? middle. Wonderful. Yeah. Have I much of it? Perfect. Nope, that's right. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a wonderful. Yeah. You've uh, probably got higher AC than me. You should probably go in front. Uh, Meredith certainly does. Considerably higher AC than me. Meredith's a 19 degrees AC. Right I can just imagine you walking And with your all my spells heal the undead. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> not ideal for this particular. Should, should I, 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 I haven't actually done that by accident, though, so I think like we're good. Yeah, that's cool. Like that, that'd be sick. It's too bad we don't have that fire anymore, otherwise, he would definitely have a spy boss. Hey, yeah. yeah. There we go. Um, um, I will ask, um, before you head down this tunnel, you did know that there was also this other room with the quicksand and something on the other side of it. You don't need to investigate, we'll just pull it out of the that way. Get the little pop-up, uh, are you prepared to leave this area? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever yeah, said your party. Go to yeah. your party, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, you travel through... Because um, it, the whole thing's going to collapse <laughs> with skulls after the whole week. He's going to go back to the saddle. He's going to um, you walk for what is probably close to an hour through these natural caves. There's only one pathway. Um, uh, you see to this uh, kind of where there would be offshoots of the cavern, and that uh, is closed over with either boards of wood or bricked up stone. Uh, it looks like someone, uh, whenever this was made, did not want anyone else going down this cave tunnel. Uh, you travel longer and longer, uh, and you eventually come to an opening at the very end of this cave. Uh, you see quite a large, big circular room. I don't have any pictures, so I 
on the far side you see an enormous, enormous uh, solid stone wall. It's called a nave. It's huge carved works. In the centre is an enormous deer skull carved from wood. Giant horns stretching out 20 metres in each direction. The skull itself standing three times as tall as any of you. Uh, from where the eyes in the skull would be, this great green fog slowly seeps out and spreads about the wall. Does this look like what I saw when I was there? This does look like what I saw when you were there. Uh, carved into the rock in letters a uh, metre high each. Uh, on the left hand side of the skull, a message in Alco, dark fey language. Oh. On the right, the same message in Necro. Uh, I believe. In which one, sorry? Uh, Alco and Necro. I know Mordred at least speaks Alco. I know. Uh, you mean Aklo? Aklo, sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I speak Alco. Oh, you Alco. speak Alco yeah. as well. <laughs> Um, so uh, the two of you would read the Alco, mm -hmm. um, you would be able to recognize the Necro, uh, and we could very quickly find this, it's the same thing. Is this the same mist that we saw in the fighting the zombies? Yep, this is all through the hmm. zombies. That's the same mist that took me over? This is the same mist oh, that took God. me over. You see, the message on both sides reads the same thing. Be gone from hence, for it is the last resting place of the blighted lord of pestilence, the prince of rot, the final decay the green lord of Arcadia. Hard one was his death, and too easy would come his return. Servants of all that is good, descendants of the free folk, guard this door at the turning of the worlds and the crossing of the spheres. Weep, weep and despair, for you look upon the tomb of the horned king. That's and almost as many titles as king. It's <laughs> many titles. And I go... <clears throat> the horny king sounds like my stepfather. <laughs> Could I get a uh, either occultism, nature, or what religion check? Religion. Fey law would work. Dark would be. Fifteen. Ooh. Twenty-three for religion. Twenty-three. Which one do you say again? Uh, religion, occultism. Twenty-two. Uh, occultism. Mm. Twenty-five for occultism. Five for occultism. Oh, okay. 22 for oh, yeah. Faelor. 16. 16. For occultism. Anything? 24. 24. Okay. 24. Got two uh, dice left. Really. Yeah. Um, so, uh, D20, yeah. 16. Mm. I heard a 16 somewhere? Mm. 16 on... Occultism. Occultism. Um, you recognise the Horn King as the enemy in a number of children's stories. Mm. There are the boggart under your bed, the creature that lurks in your cupboard. Uh, and steals nasty children away, taking them to the woods. Um, who beat an 18? Uh, wonderful. Who beat a 24? Uh, also, uh, what were the two things you rolled? You did religion. And Sibylla? Occultism. Wonderful. Um, with occultism, uh, we know the Horn King was not a big dinosaur. The Horn King is a very old, very evil creature. Uh, you would know they are feared by witches, uh, reviled by hags, sometimes worshipped, uh, and they died a long time ago uh, in a far off land. Um, with, uh, what do you say? It was actually 27. 27? Religion. Religion. Uh, you would know the Horned King, uh, that in addition to uh, them being real, uh, you would know they were the lord of the now long gone land. Uh, you know, they were a fey being uh, of dreaded power, and they were vanquished at the fifth age, so about 600 years ago. Yeah. Um, are we in mm. combat just yet? No, it doesn't seem Can to I happen. do something? Yeah, for sure. What do you want to do? Uh, I would like to use some growth and mm -hmm. try to, because you gave me the idea just earlier, tie one of those healing potions that we were given to one. Tie a healing potion to your eye. Oh, yeah, give us a crossing yeah. check. Because I've noticed that, that the healing has been mm -hmm. hurting the zombies. That's been hurting. That was so fun. Yeah, I think that was such an amazing idea. I told, I told myself I wasn't going to use that dice again. Yeah. Progressing pestilence. Um, so ten. All ten? of our healing potions um, on our Look, you get a, a healing potion, that yay big type an arrow head, about yay big, just kind of put them together and wrap around the rope. Um, you're going to take a pretty big negative uh, attack when you roll this, you'll take a minus eight modifier. Oh, we'll give it a go. Can I try again? 
Uh, if you have another healing potion you want to use, yeah? Oh, no, I think you're right. Uh, or you can try to untie it, which will be another half of check. But if you get less than a 10, I will let you know you're going to break that 10th potion. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Okay. So it's going to be a minus 8, you said, if I yep. try to shoot it. Mm-hmm. You see, probably 200 foot away from you in this great cavern uh, is this huge, what looks to be, it looks in the style of a deer skull, it's all made of wood. And you said if I get under 10, I'll break it. Correct. Waste I'm going to have it on my own crack. Yep, you try to undo it. Because I'd have to crit fail to, to actually get under 10. And that's ignoring this one. Oh, that's a 23. <laughs> 23, uh, absolutely, you undo that. Um, undo that. So just look at the 23, I'll let you also tie that onto the Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, if you take a couple of moments to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, would anyone else like to do anything while you can investigate this large wooden skull? Um, you I can look like around what, what's this, is, what is the mist going to do? I seem to be coming out of the thing's eyes and just kind of drifting across the floor, almost not. It doesn't look like it's seeking out the door, but it's certainly moving quite quickly towards the exit, and then along this panel you just walk behind it. Into so is it is it like at our feet? Yeah, absolutely. So and is it affecting us? It doesn't seem to be. Okay. And the mist is coming oh, yeah, out of the skull. It seems to be coming out of the skull's eyes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and what else is in this room? Do we, have a, do we have a visual of the room? Uh, I do not have a visual of the room uh, as such. Uh, give us a perception check so what else you can see. Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, I see nothing. 17? 17? Oh, shit. Not much. 12. 12. 8. Eight. None of these are particularly big numbers. That's not them. Oh, uh, 15. Twenty-two perception. There's a skull. Um, uh, Twenty-seven. Um, I used to heal. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, with a twenty-seven, you see a little glint of something metallic uh, in what would be the nose of the skull, uh, quite close to the ground. Uh, for size context, uh, your character can come up to about the top of this nose. Oh this God. thing is enormous. Oh, uh, 20 crap. foot in one way, 20 foot in the other. The wall behind it reaches up. It's nearly 100 feet. It's obviously not a real deer skull. No, it seems to be carved from wood at first glance. A uh, giant deer. Uh, uh, giant deer? Who's to say what wonders are in the darkness? <clears throat> feed an entire city. In Witcher, they've got these creatures called Legends that yeah. have like the same sort of deer skulls in their heads. Uh, okay. They look at them as terrifying. Um, you see a little glint of what looks like that. And then big. Uh, would you like to go kind of closer? Uh, yeah. As you go closer with that 27, uh, you see a keyhole. A keyhole? A keyhole, yes. Well, that's the door. I've called a big bit. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and tell them that there's a keyhole here that could possibly Anyone else see like anything yeah. above like a 18 on that perception check? 17. 17 will do the trick. Yeah. Um, you see that there seems to be a. Si- uh, it's, mm. it's tight and held in place. <laughs> But it looks like this entire skull would move away from the wall. <clears throat> 25. Uh, and that and the key, the door does seem the right word. Yeah. Okay. 25. 25. Uh, with 25, I'll tell you there's nothing else of note in this room. It looks intentionally stripped bare. Can I talk detect magic? Absolutely you can. In fact, with the 25, this reminds you of like the entryway to a library or a safe public place, the sort of area you want to keep very clear intentionally, maybe even the entry of the prison. Uh, yeah. um, can I ask Sedilla, because mm-hmm. um, I think you were the one who took it, can I say, um, can I look at that stuff that you found, the librarian stuff, whoever? You may look. T- <laughs> you may look, but you cannot touch. Does the staff seem to have any corresponding mechanism to the door? Uh, it very much does not. Okay. Um, I think the key probably is in that room we didn't go to. Uh, could be. Um, <laughs> the, can I send my wisp to go look? You certainly can. Your wisp, which flies quite quickly, travels back up that pathway. I think you'll read it as uh, your wisp is speed 40, so that's that trip in like yeah, cool. tight 35 minutes. Wow. Uh, it travels across, uh, it flies through the uh, rough corridors, past the dead zombies, past the room that was full of heads, uh, comes to the uh, sand, uh, large rock mm-hmm. sand in the middle of the tiles, flies over the top of it, I imagine. Uh, walks in and you see a, ped- uh, a small room on the other side, the middle of which is a stone pedestal. 
with a key that looks to be carved yep. on wood, uh, with a bunch of uh, uh, vines curled around it, and a large uh, array of flowers behind. Do we need to check to see if it's trapped? Yes, yeah, certainly do. It is a perception check for your wits. Can we use like elder myth? To yep, get... that's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Wonderful. We'll resolve that in a minute. Okay. Um, that wisp traveling back up that corridor is going to take a, a, like 35 minutes or so, maybe even 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. So you've got a bit of downtime while you're here with this stuff. Anyone wants to try anything else? Mm-hmm. Uh, you can do any history yeah. checks you like as well, anything like that. Can I? Um, skill abilities, law check. This <coughs> probably won't work because mm-hmm. I think it has to be a, um, <laughs> a creature. But could I read fate on the skull? Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's just DC. <laughs> what? It's uh, a door. Usually, I want to see if I can block it. But it's a it's uh, I will, I will take the words you get yeah. to this. I'm getting it's so much use out of architecture. Sunder. Sunder. Oh, great. In the apocalypse. Uh, this can I make like an good. architecture law check to see if it's a kind of door Absolutely. that I might be able to blow down? Give us an architecture check. <laughs> um, or it's physically blow up. Uh, blow this. Dirt, um, You're going to huff 20. and puff and blow this door down. Yeah, I'm going to try to. That's nice. nice. There's no chance. <laughs> what was that number? 20. There's a DC that will blow this down. Um, 20. <laughs> that's a critical failure. Oh the DC you're trying to hit was a fish with fun. Doable. Doable. Yeah, uh, difficult. You can hear it that small. Uh, if, you, if you came back here and you were level... Something bigger. 19. 19. 19. Not level 2. Um, not level 2. Yeah. So impossible at the moment. Um, what you will get with that, what was the number? Ah, uh, 20. 20? Uh, what you will get with that dirty 20, in addition to the detect magic spell, is that as well as this being a physical barrier, yeah. um, this is a powerful magic barrier. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I gather from that that it's, it's going to be impossible for me to try to pick this up. Not only could no. you not um, get this open, you don't think it would be possible to physically open this by force. Yeah. Um, Sibylla, with that Detect Magic check, um, there are a number of spells on this, um, mostly about, mostly lots of ceiling walls and protection. Mm-hmm. Uh, the lock also has a few different spells. I'm going to do a few other things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, give me a occultism check, if you did so. Sure. 27. 27 will absolutely do the trick. Um, having one of the people who can read the language uh, look back over those words on the boards. You recognize the phrase, uh, the. Speak friend and emperor. No, speak friend and emperor. Actually, quite the opposite, where it says, uh, Servants of all that is good, guard this door and the turning of the world and the crossing of the seals. With a 27 hour time check, you know that that would refer to the summons, mm-hmm. the time when the world changes and the forests move around. Uh, with that. It's a case of speaking voice that comes <laughs> Uh, with that check and that tech magic, um, your thoughts is probably this door doesn't open ever, unless it's a spells. Oh, so one, okay. one e- uh, every oh, it's a particularly bad time to open yeah. this thing. Yeah. yeah, so when the apocalypse is happening and the world mm. above ground is moving and changing, then you can open this door. Okay, so we More shouldn't be arguing this door. I, I saw yeah. the word that sound really nice. Nice. We're uh, level two, we can take on God. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any yep. other exit? So you're letting the key probably would open it during the sun drops, but uh, that's not happening. Is there any other, like, is, is this room, is there any exits or any other way to go? It seems to just be the way you've come back in. This looks like it's dead. One way. Yeah. Um, On another note, do you know what the Elvish word for friend actually is? Melon. 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 Uh, you see about half an hour later. Oh, would I be able to treat wounds? Yeah, yeah actually, you can do three treat wounds while yeah. I think that is happening. So just three medicine checks. Who are you doing first? Check the nerve. That was a one. So that's an it, it 11. Be, if, if, if no, no, no. Has uh, a one. Oh, yeah, uh, 16 plus 8 will be 24. Yeah, that's that's successful. Successful. Um, and I'll heal Sibylla. <laughs> Sibylla, that's 2d8 healing seals. Sibylla. Chris. Yeah. 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 11 hit points. 11 hit points, excellent. Um, who, at beach, before you roll, who are you talking Oh, sorry. Right. You wounded. And now I'm Then I'll be Grisella. Mm-hmm. Um, and that'll be a 17. 
I go at her with my egg, my, yeah. with my needle of my spiky spiky implements. You get a port. Oh, it's a seventeen. It's a seventeen. Fifteen. Yeah. So that'll be twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-three is just a success. That's fine. That pops up. Uh, what you can roll it. Check the tap from your familiar. Area. It was seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, wonderful. Is there any light in the room? Yeah, the green light coming from, seems to be coming from the fog itself, just glowing this little horrible wine green colour. Makes everyone have this real horrible sickly colour. Mm. It said follow the light. But, uh, you imagine this is probably the end of the road. Uh, this is probably what they were intending to do for it. Uh, 20, uh, no, what was 17. your word? 17. <laughs> um, well, it, it doesn't see the thing that's uh, hiding there. What you sense is you have these, these feelings, these impressions from your familiar, your sights even, your familiar goes, you feel, you feel it's touched the surprisingly cold wooden key, uh, your familiar then dies. Oh. It doesn't, it doesn't see what happens to it, but uh, that's suboptimal. There's, a, there's a feeling of shock, surprise, pain. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't exactly, s- I just said it was looking for traps, so I didn't say it was going to grab the key. Uh, yeah, it, sure, it doesn't see any traps at all, it looks completely safe, what does it do next? Cool, 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 cool. Um, I would get it to come back, I wouldn't get it to try and grab the key. I think it was a wizard. I would just want it to see if the key was there. Hmm. That's a 20 on the dice, so, what is it, with will? Uh, wisdom, with a 20, uh, at possible. Sure thing. Uh, you have the foresight to have it locate, see the key. And I never said I wanted it to go get the key. I just wanted right. it to go see if the key was there. Okay, so the key's there. <laughs> the key's and now there. we don't know that, that you died. Yeah. So we don't know that the key killed you if you touch it. Mm-hmm. But as far as we can tell, there's no traps on it. Mm-hmm. He looks completely safe. Um, what would everyone like to I was going to say, um, you, to from being down here, here spending that time taking that out. Examine it, you know that the key won't open this. Uh, the key will open it if a sunburst is happening. Do we know if there's, and in the room where the key is, is there anything else, any other exits of that room, or is it just a single room? Uh, looks like just now. It looks okay. like there's no way out of here. Do we know the from man? history um, or. Um, when is there? Can you anticipate a sundering? Yes. So the sundering well, we sometime in the next twenty minutes. <laughs> is there a sundering? Um, yeah, yeah. We yeah, know the, that Savan, the person we were traveling with, yeah. knows how to detect when sundering is. Yep. So you know that sundering happens about every two hundred and fifty to three hundred years. The last one, however, was three hundred and fifty-two years ago. Yeah. So we do well over due. Yeah. You have an any second. <laughs> that would be mighty convenient, Master DM. Would it, that... Wouldn't it just? Um, but there is no way to know it. I thought we heard it was do you think we? Usually, there's no way. Do you think we've reached yeah. the end of the line as far as what we can do today down here? Yeah. Like, Seems to be. We have Mirabella's pendant. You have Mirabella's pendant. You you know yeah. what's causing can... the undead to raise. You you know this passage used to be blocked. Off. Mirabella opened it again, so you yeah. feel like blocking we this know off. What happened? Yeah. To so know. sorry. There is one other thing in this room. We'll, we'll do that in a second. Uh, the other thing you know is that Savan, the uh, person who Memphis uh, helped smuggle out of uh, Low Marsh with you all, mm-hmm. uh, they want you to meet them tonight to do a ritual that will tell you when the sun rises. Yes. Oh, that's so you right. have the next episode. Sorry, I should have reminded you of that. Yeah. Uh, yep. a minute ago. Okay. Um, there is one other thing in this room. Uh, you see, uh, curled up in the corner, uh, there is a, a body, a skeleton, long dead, many, many ages past. Uh, anyone wants to give me a crafting check? You see, they wear dark black robes, gilded with what looks to be some sort of uh, cream, uh, almost yellow blackish material around the collar. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You recognise them as the same robes that Enoch Holcomb wears, uh, the distinctive robes that he had on his head at the guild. In the skeleton's head, also clutches a heavy set tool. Oh, mm-hmm. Are the robes in good nick? No, they're hundreds. <laughs> 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 Rock the robes. 
Mm-hmm. The, the ropes, however, seem to indicate this person would also have been a member of the Rome Fighters Guild. In fact, um, I'll, I'll just say if you remember this comment, as you were walking down, uh, Enoch mentioned that uh, a lot of the Bone Keepers' history was lost uh, uh, two sunrises ago, and there was a very sudden occurrence that would end very early. Mm-hmm. Can we take the time? Certainly can, yeah. You uh, reach over, uh, you pull the bone out of the skeleton's hand, the, the uh, you know, bone falling onto the ground, and Sibylla, you see written on the front is uh, the Bone Keeper Guild Charter. So the, the original founding documents of this uh-huh. uh, Would you be welcome to take a look through it if you want? Uh, it's a huge book, but you could certainly just like, crack it open. Okay. Uh, should, we, should we have a look once we get up the top? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Um, you make that uh, trek again, climbing yeah, back up the way. Yeah, is there something we can do to reseal it? Yeah, uh, you look, it's a fair uh, architecture check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's structural engineering. The best law. Uh, 25. 25. It is the best law. Um, you, as you're heading up here. I know doors very well. <laughs> you know doors well. Um, you also know uh, glow and stuff. Yeah? This corridor, you look, and it almost seems intentionally designed. Um, you feel like probably whoever made this uh, made it very easy to knock sections in. Oh, cool. um, you could, with you know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a couple of pickings and a hammer, if you spend like twenty minutes <sighs> making another architecture check, you could knock a section of this down. Yep. Seal off this chamber. I'll use my warhammer for that. Oh, no. I'll try and knock down a section, game. but I'll make sure everyone's clear. Everyone, get out of the way. Uh, yep, give us the roll. Uh, don't screw this up really badly. You might just take it by the way. Okay, that's a uh, 18. 18, that'll absolutely do the trick. You swing in that last hammer. <coughs> section of rock falls down, uh, blows the wind. You see, quite quickly, within a couple of seconds, all of the lime fog just dissipates into the air. Uh, and it's cleared out of the cold. So, is, what's the job you done? Uh, difficult to tell underground, but probably. Oh, no, I thought we'd put them back to the surface. So. No, no, so, uh, you, that, that, so this cave is uh, about the two hours trek below ground. Sorry? Did it cave in? No. Yes. No, I, it. I just I sealed, sealed it off. I didn't cave in the whole thing. So these catacombs you've just fought through are set, uh, quite far below ground, about a two hour trek below ground. And then this cave with the skull is another hour below that, so really quite far below ground. Okay. Um, but you come back up to the caverns here. Um, I will, uh, yeah, I will, I will say, with, with the, doing those checks now, you know that you probably, you don't need that key one open it, you can still grab that key one key if you want to check. What do you think? What's the I think it's probably not necessary. Necessary. We know where it is if we come back down anyway. Yeah. Yep, you know, it's sitting on a podium just here. Can we find a book as well? Yeah, for sure. Or like how long? Or do we want to just get the key yeah, we without him in? What do you think, Emma? Emma thinks that would oh, be no. a bad idea because I like yeah. Elmet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Drizella would probably go and try and get the key and end up sacrificing Elmet in the process because I don't know the key is Elmet dangerous. Elmet does have hit points and can be down. And down. I know that. I'm not familiar with the I know that, but <laughs> Elmet does not. Damn it! <laughs> Ultimate does not. No! Oh, I'm sorry, yes. I you, absolutely had no idea. I thought you were just literally kill just you. killing my no, family. Like, I was like, wait, yeah, what? No, don't! So, Ultimate does not. How's so, Ultimate so, going to get over there? Very quick, so. <laughs> exactly. It's like a mage hand. No, Ultimate can just sort of fly over there. Yeah. But Ultimate does not know that the. I. Let me just. Hold on. Um, probably not. Sean does have a climb speed though, so Sean can just crawl across. Oh, okay. I'm assuming you're standing in the end of this, near this corridor at least, and you see this uh, muddy sand that can uh, break the tunnel. Alright, Sean, you're going across. <laughs> you send Sean across? Alright, <laughs> uh, Sean runs across the walls. Uh, I could alternatively just shoot an arrow at it and see if that triggers something, like I did with the, yeah. which I did with the flower. Sean has run across, Sean's on the other side. Good luck hitting a key off. with an arrow. Sorry? Good luck hitting a key with an arrow. Uh, so you actually can't see the key from that side. The key's kind of around this corner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you'd have yeah. to get across. Right. So you send Sean into. Uh, what is that for? I have to do another crafting check, but that's why I'm a potion. Now. Uh, you send Sean down into the corner. Can you see where Sean goes? You can't. 
Uh, I'm just going to move a random one of you over there so you can see into the corridor. Uh, big open space. Uh, there's a pedestal in this square here that holds the key. Mm. How high is the pedestal? Um, not problematic for Sean. But okay. I don't know if Sean can... Sean might have to make a check, sorry, to like jump and grab it from the, from the mouth. Okay. What check? Athletics check? Athletics. Well, hang on. Yeah. What's my... That uh, Sean has what? stats because you have an enhanced will because you're a... Nope, Sean has stats. No, I don't have stats. Yeah. Uh, plus zero for Sean, I believe. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have to know. It doesn't even have a thing. <laughs> Sean has stats. Okay. Yeah. He's not very good, is he? <laughs> Now we've got any more hero points. That was a four. Oh. Uh, you see, with a four, uh, Sean jumps up to get the key. One of the vines uh, lifts off the podium and wraps around Sean, mm-hmm. uh, squeezing them tight. Uh, Sean has any hit points. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you hear a horrible screaming sound, and then Sean uh, uh, turns to dust as Familius will evaporate. Uh, ten minutes ritual, you can summon Sean back. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Familius dying is not a big deal. They're, they're, they're creatures of energy. Oh, I'm sorry. It's sad that they come back. I know, I was, I was insane to him. It was like, I didn't know that they come back. He literally gave me a mini panic attack thinking you're making me yeah. lose my familiar. Familiars are. If, if I had known, I would have just gone along with it. But it was no, that's why I was like, what? Uh, you feel like the vines here seem to be a little more active than you'd expect from the barbed wire. Look at the vines. I think it's protected for reading. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Can you read the book as we're walking? You can Sorry. read the book oh, as you're walking. So with the familiar, will they rematerialize near me? Hey, you just need a ten minute ritual and it will uh, be summoned. It doesn't have to, it doesn't reappear at the space of God. No, it doesn't reappear right now. Okay. It's not like Dark Souls familiar. <laughs> Yeah, no. are, no, you have to go back and collect are, that, collect the familiar. familiar <laughs> that would be awesome. It's only these 10 minutes of downtime. <laughs> drink, the Dark Souls is, familiar. Yeah, yeah. I fell into um, a volcano. Like, yeah. Anyone yeah. who wants to read the book, uh, give me a... Uh, <laughs> that sounds like Sean. Sounds like Possum Spy. Yeah. Probably like occultism, I think. Occultism. Occultism. Darkwood fortune telling will have something in it. Fortune telling will be the trick. Yeah. Actually, you know what? It's bone keeping. It's medicine, is what it is. Oh, um, it's a medicine. <laughs> no, that's not great. That's <clears> amazing. <throat> uh, all you need to do is hit a 15. 17. 17. Oh, 20 on the dice. 20 on the dice. No, what do you add to medicine? Uh, plus one. Plus one, so 21. Uh, so 21, so 22. Like Anyone else have a 15 on the medicine check wanting to read the book? Oh, yeah. Only medicine? Oh, Only medicine. medicine. Yeah, yeah. No, stop that. Mm. It's quite unusual. Right, hang on. What did you roll? What was the highest roll, sorry? Uh, so far, 21. Yeah, I can't Did you get above a 15? I did, so 18, 19, 26. 26? So that is uh, two more than that, so that's 23. Um, you're all doing a health action, by the way. Yep. Um, 23. Between the couple of you who have a bit of medical knowledge or just kind of luck into it. Um, yeah, just luck into it there. Um, you see the bone keepers feel. Um, you know the Bone Keepers Guild in modern days are pretty much just a kind of burial funeral, uh, burial service, they're crypt keepers, they're undertakers. Um, this book charter reads more like a religious order set about fighting the undead as their main thing, who also happen to run the things. Um, one of the big things, uh, quite early on, is that they are entrusted with keeping the remains of those beings who should not see those things that are so evil that they could not possibly be allowed to return. And one of the things mentioned explicitly are the remains of the Horned King. Uh, putting two and two together, if that's 20 whatever it is, check, uh, you imagine that quite possibly behind that locked door are the remains of this ancient, long dead fake horror. Mm. Okay, that's not the least of horror. I think the point is we're going to have to stop something else. It's yeah. going to try. <laughs> Someone knows mm. when the summons is happening. There's weird stuff going on here. It's probably the guy that's going to help us find yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that is very man right now. He's going to be like, yeah, oh, it's that. Now I can know. By the time you get to the service, it'll be time to meet up with Savannah. Yeah. Nice. Savannah. Uh, 
Anyone do anything as you head back to the surface? Um, can I just, sorry to waste time, but can we check if Mirabella's ghost is still there? Yeah, um, you go by, um, it seems Mirabella's ghost is gone. Mm. Uh, blocking off the path, stopping the undead coming back, probably has either set her free or perhaps she was one of the undead ghosts. Is her body still there here? Uh, so you performed a uh, funeral rite ritual for her, you get a religion check for a, a follower of the neighbors and t- uh, disintegrated her as well, a cremated. Did she oh, have any did. books or anything? Yeah, really? I was going to say, did we like take her? We took her dead. You took her pen dead. She would have had a few. She would have had some academy texts, absolutely. Okay, yeah, can I? Oh, did you like her? Yeah, probably. Because I just want to see who was like teaching her and instructing her with letter to this. Uh, she was studying directly under Dean Mariposa. Yeah. That's what I thought, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which also lines which... up with what the Dean told you and what uh, yes. I think you interviewed a couple of students. We found the head of the Dean Mariposa. But it was a different Dean Mariposa as well, so we don't know if it's. Does it say anything in her like academic text, like whether Dean Maricosa was the one that, that kind of <laughs> set her down this road? Was Dean Maricosa a dragon Give me an arcana check, see if you can understand the kind of, you know, like high level wizard jargon that it is in these books. And in her, there's probably a journal of hers in there as well, actually. Uh, 17. Can I help? Yeah, absolutely. Give me an arcana check. Anyone wants to help you can. Um, 14, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. 24, that's a success, so you can add one more to that. Add that to a 19. 19. Um, what level spells? Let's just add up to fourth level spells. Um, 19, that probably does it actually. Um, you see that they have made a, uh, you, you kind of spend a bit of time, you look through, you look at, uh, it seems like they were trying to do this teleport with the help of a spell glyph, so effectively they're doing it as a ritual rather than a single action. Mm-hmm. It lets you cast some high level spells that you normally could. Um, you look over quite extensively on the kind of pages that Dean's given her and what uh, she's uh, done at the end, and you do see there are a couple of mistakes. It looks like she's made. This looks to you like an accident, oh, okay. as opposed yeah. to like sabotage or anything. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's yeah, good. Cool. That's, that's good. That's nice yeah. 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 Good, good okay. thought process Wonderful. to chat. Uh, you head to the surface. Um, you uh, come out at the uh, Bone Keeper's Well, you see by the time you emerge from these caves and this uh, back to night's time, or sorry, not back to the night time, um, you uh, kind of emerge. Oh, oh that's cool. Mm. Yeah, isn't it just a bit hard to see? Are we going to have any time to um, go meet with Dean Maricosa and tell her what's happened so far? Or you certainly have could. to go to Savannah first. Probably. Uh, you probably could, uh, you probably could duck by Dean Maricosa. They're both in the same kind of. Area, so right. it would be convenient. Well, it's um, up to you guys if you want to go straight to the corner thing. Uh, and do that, you can do the, the uh, You see, you find uh, uh, waiting for you at the top of the cavern, uh, yeah. Enoch, the uh, drow head of the bone keeper. So I'll get paid for trash. Um, what, uh, do you tell them what you found? Do you, you, I won't make you all recount what's just happened, but do you leave anything out? Um, Door in the syndrome. Uh, yeah, I would. I'm not Wait, telling you about it. Who, who, who are we talking to? Sorry? Uh, Enoch Holcomb. The nice person who gave you the who said, go down there, find Is one Enoch Holcomb the person we found dead? No, that was no, someone no, no. You found robes. someone wearing the same robes. Oh, the same robes. From okay. hundreds of years ago. So you would assume probably uh, the a old head of the Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I would, I'd would. i probably tell him everything. Mm-hmm. I would say you're probably, probably if there's some division, you're probably, you will have nearly an hour time to get you into uh, to Enoch. So probably yeah. enough time to say, hey, are we telling them the yeah. story? What's the yeah. Could we give Enoch the book that we found? Yes, yeah, certainly could. As long as no one to post it up. Well, it's, it's basically a medicine book for me, so it has more interest to you. And it's it's about their history. So it's it's yeah. also yeah, you're you're reading through this. This seems very. This is not like a grimoire. This is not got secrets in it. This is a, mm. this is a guild chart. Did we Fine. did we we were going to get paid for this, weren't we? You were indeed. Yeah. Why, so this? by Dean. Mm. So before we hand it over, no. was there no. by Enoch. Cole. By Enoch. Oh, okay. So Enoch, he's. Oh, hang on. Dean can't ask you to, to, to investigate. Oh, no, 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 you can ask me to Which we, we kind of did on the side. On the yeah, you started it, Chris, you finished it. Yeah. It's the littlest person in this book that's three times or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... But we, we found, found out that she's... she's we found the source. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we found this. Oh, uh, you... So, sorry, so just to clarify, you tell them about, obviously, the zombies you ran into. Do you tell them about the skull and the sun that's in the secret? I yeah, I, I think like we, we definitely tell him about that. But do we tell him about the um about the Dean Maricosa stuff? No. And like how we found the, uh, an actual Dean Maricosa de- dead in the thing? I would want to know. I, no, I wouldn't tell him. 
you are you have time. To how much? How much? How much are we interacting with this guy? In? Very little. Um, yeah. You ran into another member of the Bone Keepers here, and, trust and, and they, they said you all seem to be good with undead. Yeah, right. Help us out. You yeah. went to them and said, "Hey, we, we see that undead's coming back," and they said, "Yes, undead is coming back." Would yeah. you like some money? Would you like? To uh, I would keep the Go university ship. Yeah, I think we would. Leave, very leave, leave out the university and talk to the dean about. So, yeah. so whatever we tell this guy, we don't tell the dean. Whatever t- we tell the dean, we don't tell this guy. No, I think we don't tell. Um, the dean you have no reason to think that the dean and this person work together. No, no, I know. Oh, cool, cool. Sorry, my no, I know that. It's more so of, well, do we want the like? Does the dean know about the undead coming back underground, sort of thing? I'm pretty sure she knows about. But I think, I think to, well, I'm gonna have to tell her that sort of stuff to get paid by her, because it kind of explains the whole process of what what Maribel went through. Okay. Um, at least part of it. We don't have to necessarily tell her. That, so like, I definitely, that don't, definitely she don't say anything the, about the, the door. Level, the demon, like the Definitely worst don't thing say anything about, about the door to the No, I'll just say that like she she opened up some dark shit and poisoned. Did she stuff. open it up though? Or did, mm-hmm. she, did she? That's that's as far as yeah. we know. She did. She even mm-hmm. said that she did. Yeah, she got teleported yeah, so, down so, there. And uh, yeah, so Marabella uh, teleported by a freak accident into yeah. that into the room and the skull, uh, and then activated uh, a chain of broke, events. Uh, broke out into there, which let the guest escape, which started the dead guys. Oh, okay. So, so Master Enoch, I believe, uh, some so remuneration. Posted, but not on purpose. So, in, indeed, indeed, uh, and I'm very mm-hmm. grateful for returning with this book. Much was lost in the third sundrops. Our order was taken off guard as well. Many others, I didn't see they didn't return. Uh, they uh, give you a hundred and twenty silver pieces. Uh, no, <laughs> aggregate. And is that each? Um, Mordred will take the money, but he fully intends to give it to any remaining family members of Marabella. Uh, that's twenty-four silver pieces each. <coughs> if you just want to split it even. Mm-hmm. Um, you see, you uh, Enoch says. Uh, Please take this coinage. Um, thank you very much. Uh, if indeed the undead are at rest now, you've done uh, our order and this city a great service. Uh, I would also uh, present you all with the blessing of the Reaper if you'd be willing to accept it. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, the Reaper is one of the, uh, uh, to offer to Donna, one of the god, one of the uh, beings of the old age. Uh, they are, uh, they are the, uh, they're a psychopomp. They guard the dead, they uh, bring them through, but they also uh, take people at their times. So they're a bit of a mixed figure. Mm. But, um, you know, they're kind of like the Grim Reaper, sort of. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll if, take it. If everyone's accepting that, yeah. yeah. Um, wonderful. Um, you go into a, a large, uh, kind of, um, sort of a room you would have a wake or a, a formal funeral. There's no casket or anything, though. Uh, lots of skulls on the walls of like, honored dead, that sort of thing. Mm. Uh, everyone uh, invites you to the room. Uh, yep. Uh, I'm actually. <laughs> kind of nervous enough because I did just die and came back. So he, is he just going to take me now? If I we, no, we, we stop you this guy. Back again. <laughs> uh, okay. you, you can ask Enoch, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the dice. Can decide. Make it let the dice decide. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Do the prayer. And you see Enoch um, uh, says a, a long prayer over you in Necro. Uh, the gist of which is uh, they're asking the Reaper to protect you. The service you have done the living, may you stay with them longer. Um, the next time any of you will critically fail a death saving roll, you could turn it into a 20 oh, that's, nice. oh, uh, that's a one use thing that's done and gone. Yeah. Uh, stick that in your character notes because it might be you know, many, many sessions before you could fail one. Yeah, because it just lasts. It, it's in death. So. It's a total. Yeah. So crit fail of a death save yep. over death check. Uh, and that is, yeah, so a critical fail on this. So that might be a roll of like a 15, even if you're really in bad ways. Um, and you can turn that into a 20 or the dice. Wonderful. And you tell Enoch about the skull room and the sending of stuff that locked the demon and goes, yeah, yeah, wonderful. Um, from there, um, yeah, they, they thank you. They give you that blessing. Um, they, uh, you know, we are very, very grateful. If any of you should need us in the future, uh, to ask, you will find us in most places. There are a cemetery. 
But so long as you carry that blessing of the Reaper in the flow, you don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, and if you like, uh, you all head off to the university. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, did you want to talk to Dean Maricosa first, or did you just want to go talk with Sydney? Well, what time is it at this point? Yeah. Uh, by this point, it's it's uh, early evening, probably about five o'clock. You know, Savan wanted to see you before, uh, from the sound of it, like, you know, eight, nine, ten, sort of o'clock. So it's definitely time. We get some dinner. You have to get quite days. truly held up for two yeah. to be late for some other reason. Okay. We should push for dinner. Yeah, yeah. probably. Wonderful. Um, you go to the university's kind of um, front well, office. There's a desk. How are we going to approach this? Yeah, that's probably a question you have as you're walking through. Uh, conversation you have as you're walking through. So you stand like there. I, like interrogation is like my whole thing. So I can try to interrogate her and ask her some questions, but I don't know how. how like, well, we've got Give me a perception name. check. Okay. This is quite a low DC, but that's the only uh, 14. 14. So Dean Maricosa is the head of a uh, of probably the musical school this side of the world. Uh, they're not going to uh, fold easily. Yeah. Uh, well, she's the heads are very high level. Smart. Yeah. She's, she's smart, she's wise, she's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not that you can't do it, but yeah. you have to do very well to control it. Yes. Is Can there in the 50? university, like, like say, like, a whole wall with all the pictures of the deans that they've had? There's a plaque thing outside my door. There's yeah, there's a plaque thing, mm -hmm. but I'm citrus wanting uh, to see pictures, portraits or, portraits or something, to see if it is the same dean or... The, you didn't see any, uh, like, you didn't see, like, a, like a hall of heroes or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, but around the campus, there's lots of portraits, so you could probably yeah. look at that. That will take a bit of time. That'll that, probably take an fine. hour or so. That's fine. Yep. Can, oh, I'll get my book. Uh, would my list be able to maybe identify it? If they find a portrait of so a Dean Maricosa. Your, your list can try. It'll make, I'll make some secret yeah. checks, see if it picks up on it. You yeah. add zero to check. So you've yeah. got pretty much a, a flat check. Yeah, we'll do that then. Okay. And that way it can, if it can identify any portraits of other Dean Maricosa. Cool. Uh, it's an inside next hour looking around. Looking I mean, I would be looking. Oh, you you go yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. It's like I'd, I'd, I'd send gonna... it one direction, I'd go another direction, sort of thing. Kind of. Wonderful. So you're going to spend an hour doing that. Yeah. What's the rest of the party going to do? I'll go with Big B to the office. Mm, you're so going to go so to the office. Uh, so actually, sorry. What I'll say first: you head into the front room. Um, you talk with one of the you know, say first who helped you out last time, uh, asking for Dean Maricosa. They say, oh, uh, the dean isn't in her office. There was some business down at the astronomy uh, center. Oh, that's where Savan was going. Yeah. That is indeed. Okay. So they're in the same place. Oh. Um, oh yeah, can we can we just like refresh what actually was the go with the with the heads and stuff? So, um, so we found. Sorry. No, sorry, you go. no, 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 you can go. Uh, we found the the room with all the heads. Yeah, exactly. And then, but we found another name park that had a Dean Maricosa. Yeah. On it, and yeah. it was an old. And how and old? It was, it was old. So it was about it was about as old as she could be. Are yeah, we all, are we allowed yeah. into the Dean? Yeah, it was about six hundred this area or anything? She probably yeah. not. With so that. We're, we're, I believe I we're passed the test. We're now unsure like whether it's the Dean or not. So she, so she might have been like, 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 but it was like a human or something like she's writing on the wall, yeah. so it wasn't yeah. so it's not likely that she's like, yeah, you certainly could. Um, yeah. uh, you see, the dean's yeah. office is actually I mean, only a few stories the entrance, so you can just quickly back up the stairs and have a look, and you do see a big long list of deans. You see the Dean Maricosa being the current thing, has been running at the academy for near 80 years now. Yep. Um, you look back on this list, you know, quite a ways down, and you do see about 550 years ago, so uh, oh, two ages past is a very long time. Yeah. Uh, yeah another being in Maricosa. Oh, okay. So, so it's see. probably... So, probably, yeah. probably yeah. So we're probably yeah, reading into something, something that's There's probably just someone that's got the same but, name. So yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, there's other people named Ainsworth that I've yeah. met before that have completely... Exactly. Or it could sorry, be in Maricosa, it could be a last name. that really quickly. There's okay. not another being Maricosa, which is the same thing that you... Check for that last week as well. Okay. So there wasn't another Okay. 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 So, so there is not an Yeah, sorry about that. that so. Was, that was not is, is there a, like, is there a specific person or something that, that fits in the timeline of where we reckon that Dean Maricosa should have been? 
Uh, yeah, or is sure. there a gap? Yeah. Or so is so there you like... look over, you see that... Um... Do we know the timeline? Yeah, yeah. He, he had a date. It had a date on you, do know the, you do know the time. Um, you see that uh, there is Dean Stollis, Dean Walters, uh, and then Dean Jax. Uh, uh, you know that the Dean Maricosa in the head yeah. was between the heads of Dean Stolas and Dean Jax. Okay. And so what was the one in the back of the nameplate? Walters. Had the date the date on the back of the nameplate uh, occurs when this clerk in the office claims Dean Jax was in charge. Okay. So potentially that head was. Is it cover where Walters. Dean Jax would have been? So is it cover both? Like where Maricosa would have been and Jax? Or is it. Give me a Dean perception check. Okay. Uh, I'll help them. Help action? Yeah, could I help? Help action? Sure thing. Perception checks from both of you? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, that's a success. Uh, a that's a critical success. Uh, what of yours? Uh, eighteen, and that's because of it, um, skewing a lead. That actually makes it nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. Uh, three. Three. That, so 20, oh, twenty-three. Success. Twenty-three. You think that there's a couple of things that could have happened. What it looks like is that on this board outside the office, Dean mm-hmm. Jacks. Uh, Ruled is the wrong word. Uh, sat in office for a lot longer than the heads would seem to indicate. Yeah. Possibly, that's just a mistake. These are, uh, you know, this this board is current events three hundred and fifty, sorry, five hundred and fifty years ago. Yeah. Um, or what could happen also is that if there was meant to be a second Dean Maricosa on this plate, Dean Dean Jacks could have been sitting all through their time as well. If that makes sense. Um, was in the in those heads mm-hmm. were they all the one species? Uh, like, no, not no. strictly. It was okay. mostly humans, just because the setting was mostly humans. But there was yeah. like you know an elf. There was a okay. um, there was probably a leshy somewhere in there. Uh, yeah. A couple of halflings, a gnome. Oh, cool. Uh, probably there probably wouldn't have been any dragonborn. You would have seen, but dragonborn are exceptionally rare anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there would there was a. Uh, orc. Okay, I guess we'll go to the astronomy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go to the observatory. Observatory. Um, you or so, uh, I mean, do you want to run off away from the party and check the pictures, or do you want to stick with them? You um, can send your familiar if you like to do that. Right? I'll send my familiar to them. And we'll do that with all of that new information. Yeah. Actually, um, there's one other thing I'd like to do when mm-hmm. we're at the no. the records. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I have like a particularly really strong look at where Dean Jax is mm-hmm. and see if I can notice any like editing yeah. that's been done or anything or like is it's it been rubbed off? Or or using it's 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 fun fun you use architecture. <laughs> 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 um, architecture will not work for everything. Um, but yeah, this kind of wood. There's a there's a concept in illusion magic. Which oh, okay. Is active focus. So if you're actively looking for an illusion spell where there happens to be one, you can make a check. Okay. With that in mind, make a perception check. I'm afraid no. not. <laughs> that is a 23. A 23? Yeah. I need to go check something real quick and two <laughs> different numbers. <laughs> Very good. Just a little bit. I think I'm starting to get better at being an investigator. Like, <laughs> yeah. character. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remind see. us not to play Pluto with you, Mr. <laughs> DC. <laughs> Going back to that first mystery, you guys all had to solve it for me, and now I'm actually being useful. All right. <laughs> so, you've got a yeah. minor I mean, if we need to know it. stuff about yeah. doors, yeah. you are the man. This is going to count as a major clue, so you start adding plus two when you're solving the case. You've just got a major clue. Nice. You look at this, and as you look at it, nothing changes in front of your eyes. There's no great flash of light. There's no, the, the, the metal engravings don't change. But as you look, you can see for the first time a name between Stolas and the one after which ever is from uh, Jax, yeah. uh, you see Dean Maricosa uh, scratched out yeah. uh, and then uh, thin golden uh, arcane script written over the top. Ooh. Uh, interesting. Okay. Ooh, interesting. So there was another Dean Maricosa. To beat this, 
uh, to beat this spell, someone would have to know to be looking for this already, and then pass the DC 30 check, which you just did. Oh, I, I just know, let's go with You've got a 27, plus one for a minor clue you've already solved, and that major clue will be this. Oh, okay, yeah. I forgot I was just getting the... No, I've been adding those options, so that's just... Oh, okay, sweet. Okay, so but as far as the double bin problem goes, we've now got the minor clue and the major clue. Hopefully we can find a portrait and then we'll have another clue. Yeah, it would certainly be... And then we can go to another very good use. How dare I? Head over to the observatory. Imposter! <laughs> but uh, so it's like that, um, that old TV show, the tower one. Scooby-Doo? No, 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 no. It was, no, no, no. It was a kid's show. Rubber Twist. No, trapped. and it was... Yes! Trapped. Loved it. I love Trapped. Good show. Um, you head over to the observatory. Uh, it's quite quiet on university grounds at this time. Thank goodness. Anytime you can find a place to study. Um, you, uh, the observatory is on a hill in the back of the kind of open uh, grounds. Back. There's like a lake nearby and a lot of trees. Um, I would be keeping an eye out for a picture as we're walking absolutely. through the halls. Um, just a so blind you know. luck check. Uh, interesting. Um, you don't see any optical. Um, just wanted to make you aware that I'm still so actively you're, looking you're at it while we're wandering through. Um, as you approach the observatory, it's very quiet in here. Um, you uh, head on through and see the front door. Uh, as you open it up, who is, who actually opens the door? Who's leading this uh, charge? Big B, because you're following the lead. Yeah. 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 Um, Big B's lead investigator, so. Big B, you open the door. The rest of you have some. He puffs and puffs the door out. You see a couple of things that you notice. Um, the observatory is a hum. There is bright lights, almost like the aurora of Stratus, um, arcing from uh, place to place. The telescope seems to be out of the way. Uh, it's just the night sky, the sky filtering through. But you couldn't see any of the lights from the outside windows. Suddenly, there's a bright flashes of energy. Uh, you see a familiar figure, a rich and dark cloak wearing a deer skull mask, oh, who you oh, saw yeah. way back in session two or three uh, at the field after a battle of Cameron, creating beams. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. With a number of these green glowing eyes floating in the space. Uh, was she in the forest? Roll initiative. She, was in, she wasn't in the forest. Different character. Okay. Um, but green like the mask. In the no, green she was the one that ran away. Scene. She was. Uh, you rocked up to fight the ghouls. She looked you all over and then just flew into the air and passed you. Yeah. Uh, she seemed to be collecting something. Uh, you see uh, a great clockwork machine. Uh, all sorts of things. It seems to be have been made very recently, kind of improvised in some ways. You see a jar of spoon making one contraption, another looks to be what was a telescope and a part. Uh, standing behind it is Safari. Uh, one of these uh, two eyes is growing the most flame around them. Uh, as you see, they hurriedly uh, cast a spell over this machine, which means it means something. Uh, you know that the parallax is happening tonight, and when the divination magic is at its strongest, uh, then Savani will be able to predict the sunbeams. Uh, Sorry, yeah, parallax. The parallax is a divination thing. The sun is the apocalypse. Yeah. And parallax is what? How often? Like once a month? Uh, yeah, that one's every two months. That one's every yeah, exactly. Much more common. Um, uh, as uh, you open the door, you see this uh, skull, uh, this dark word turn to you, you see the skull, and the same glowing green thing from behind the skull's eyes as you just saw it into the ground. Uh, as you see, they lift up. Finger uh, pointing energy. towards you begins to cackle with energy. Uh, get everyone to roll initially. Oh, TPK. <laughs> oh, uh, is it perception based? This dice is uh, way better. Sorry, just hang on with those numbers. Um, it is. It is. An, it is perception based. Uh, I will let Big B. You can add on your uh, uh, pursuing lead. You can add on one or yeah, plus one. Yeah, plus one. Uh, just need two seconds while I fix up the lighting in this. No. Yes, the there you go. So you've got this big old observatory here on the hill. You guys have come up this way and here up the stairs, and you can then see uh, the uh, skull which uh, holding this door open 
great big machinery having an answer of that operating. So a perception check, essentially. Perception so yeah. We can't see uh, Dean Maricosa. You don't see Dean Maricosa anywhere. No. Mm. There's a Unless the, unless the skull is Dean Maricosa. Yeah, that could, that seen could very much be. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah, we haven't seen him in the same room together. The skull could also be Batman for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, what's your combat meter? Uh, 24. Oh, yeah. 24. 24. Yes, yeah, much better than this. Uh, Mordred. Uh, 18. Uh, Sibylla. Uh, it is 20, uh, sorry, no, it's 15. 15. Uh, Drizella? Put on the dice for 28. Uh, 28, absolutely wild, and Melodon. 23. 23. Incredible. Uh, the first person to act is the Skull Witch. Mm. Drizella can spot an undead necromantic kind of ceremony going down. You would be able to. Your immediate thought isn't necromancy. Oh. So divination. Divination. But lots of freaky dressed people. Lots of freaky dressed people. Look, this skull witch thing, that could be necromancy. I I could go to their costume party and fit in reasonably well. Is this Wolf Among Us? No, it's from Borderlands. Oh, right. Sounds like Wolf Among Us. Uh, I'm sorry, it's royalty free. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, right. uh, it doesn't really pick up anything. So. Nah. It does if I play it, that's the thing. Uh, can everyone please help me on the uh, can you do that? Uh, it's on particularly Five's the number to lose. 19. Five. Yeah. Both of you? Yeah. Uh, roll off. Too low. Roll off. Really? Why roll with this advantage again? Uh, you do indeed. <laughs> uh, what's a, what modifier do you put on all oh, that? Nothing at all. Eight. Six. six. <laughs> you <laughs> still <laughs> was. <laughs> I rolled an uh, eight and a five. You still so won. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Uh, what was you were so unlucky. Roll off she got, she got six. six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a twelve and an eight and she still got four. I've been rolling so well. Um, you see this uh, I'm skull coming back. Which, uh, <laughs> looks over at the five of you, uh, looks at Mordred and says, you. Uh, and then uh, reaches out a hand in a glow of green. Uh, can you please make me a uh, No, I'm going to get married. Can, can we jump uh, in front of her? You can add four hands to this. Uh, was that a will save? A will save. That's a 30. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you're not going to get married. That's a critical oh. fail. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so something about Pathfinder, all <laughs> little things have a DC in the This is so much. So so that's roll I've ever had. That, that is so That's a 30. That and is, it's still a critical fail. If that was 1.5, it would have just been a fail. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sure. That's yep. incredible. Can I jump in that's front so, of Morgan? That's so badass. I love that. Yeah, I rolled a 30. I'm fine. I rolled a 30. We'll make that a fail, though. I mean, one point off of Yeah. Don't do that to That's brutal, that is. Uh, yeah, I did a crit fail one. Uh, I want to... Do a crit fail? Yeah, do a crit fail. Make her cry. Or him cry. See the light. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these four people you've been hanging around with, <laughs> they are important. They are nothing for you. This yeah. skull face strange, you might not know the name of it, but you feel a deep kinship with them. You <laughs> know them. <laughs> Deeply, profoundly, uh, are you are allied to them mm. until tomorrow. Oh, no. Uh, there is no other safe. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, so you'll be fighting against the party for this. Oh, no. Oh, gee, where's. Um, where are we well. doing for time? Would you like to wrap up at 10? Um, no, 10 is fine. Wonderful. Well, in that case, we're going to maybe request 10. Absolutely. <laughs> in that case, that is where we will end tonight's Sorry. session. No, no, absolutely fine. There's you. never a problem with us until the end of the session. Um, I will have your initial numbers saved in here, so don't stress. So your uh, project for next week is all a new character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, if you want to run Savan for the fight, and I'll yeah. run Mordred, you're welcome to. Otherwise, you can just run Mordred. Oh, fight I'll, I'll do either. <laughs> uh, I'll probably get you to run Mordred fight. Yeah. I think it's more dramatic and fun. I get to say sad things.